Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is episode number 63 of the RC Pilots Lounge. Are you guys in the house? Yes, you are. Look at the chat. How many folks do we have in here right now? Somebody tell me. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're in here for tonight is a tag team live stream. Like some of you know, we've done before. Uh, the boozers are producing tonight. Um, as is always the case when we do the tag team live stream, and that works out fantastically. BH so, has been pretty much excuse me. place for video gear for me. For, has been for a long time. Yeah. All right. What an amateur. So the star of the show tonight is the Dynam P61, the only foam Black Widow on the market right now. 59 inch wingspan, four cell power, retracts and flaps. Yes. It's got a reputation, and they let some early ones fly a long time ago, and it's been suffering a little bit because of some of the fit and finish that everybody knows from early on. Our buddies in Slovenia did a really great expose on that thing, but we have version two, and we managed to get a version two Black Widow in the hands of Mary Boozer's channel as well. So we have one in the studio at Bobby Kamita's house. Bobby's bringing a version one when he gets down here in a few minutes. And we're going to be able to talk about the differences. And Bobby has tremendous experience with these as well because he's built the version one, flown it extensively. I flew it today. It's really something special. And the version two. So speaking to the differences on version one and version two, is what we're going to do today, and then we're going to get Wesley um, to unbox it and give you guys a really good scan of the parts. We probably will not be having him assemble the plane tonight, but stay tuned because Bobby's already filmed the build on version two, and then again tonight, we're going to talk about some of those differences, and Bobby was pumped. Uh, just to go over a few, the paint's better, uh, the plastic parts that used to be shiny are not, the decals are better. And the gaps and the things that bothered us about the first one have been remedied. There's still some things like you glue on the booms that aren't uh, our exact favorite. But if, if when Bobby sent a list of laundry items for them to clean up, um, they did handle a few of those things. And even the way the wiring goes. It used to be a rat's nest. Now it's a little bit different as well. So we're going to get into that tonight. We also flew the F-18. We flew the Tiger Cat, the FMS Beaver. There's a lot to talk about, but we're going to try to keep it focused on the Black Widow. And I want to formally thank the Mary Boozers for producing this one. And uh, come on in here, guys. If you're ready. Oops. Did I surprise you, Lori? <laughs> Are, we Are, we Are we unmuted? Are we unmuted? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. What's going on, guys? Hey, Glad man. to be so, here tonight. We're, we're <laughs> nice to be on the Pilot Ryan show. Media, Media Network. We got to get all this stuff right now. But That's right. I got to keep all of it time. straight here. The it's Pilot hard to Ryan go back Media to the Network. Old, but we're going to do the what we need to do here. But, but uh, uh, yeah, thank you, Ryan. We appreciate uh, you inviting us to do what we're going to do tonight. And I'm really excited to get the P61. Um, so a lot of guys that don't know, this is one of my absolute favorite airplanes of all time. Um, so it's going to be really neat to finally have a model of it. And it's cool. You're cutting it's, out a little, buddy. Am I cutting out? What? Yeah, that hadn't happened for a long time. Well, yeah. I, maybe on your end, uh, I'm looking at our microphone and everybody says it looks fine. Is anybody oh, okay. else hearing any issues with us? I think the sound's fine, Ryan. It might actually be on your end. Okay. Um, but it wouldn't be a boozer. It wouldn't be a boozer show if something wasn't wrong with our audio. audio. <laughs> so, yeah, we want to, um, you know, I'm going to shout out everybody who's arrived in the chat. And I just want to go back to, um, you know, BitGo Hobby has sponsored this episode, right? So, BitGo handles Dynam in the United States. I have an affiliate relationship with them. When you use my link or you go to the website and use any of those links, um, Pilot Ryan Media earns commission. Uh, I actually got an e email to the, day, uh, the other day. Uh, these things must be disclosed better um, for, for people. They're going to be cracking down on YouTubers and stuff in the future. But BitGo, thank you very much for providing these models for Wesley and I 
to do this tag team live stream, which you guys have come to, I think, love. I, I, I know Wesley and I get a real kick out of them. So um, you're going to love it, Wesley, what I tell you today, man. You haven't flown one yet, and I hadn't flown one until today. And um, Nice break from uh, the fast, crazy everything else. It'll be good to go to a floaty, slower airplane absolutely and you know like we were talking about the marlin like the marlin is nice it's still a jet it's nice it's capable but it's like you know what it doesn't fly heavy it's like taking a deep breath and relaxing uh -huh. and when you you know i was flying the 6s tiger cat today in 90 degree cross um definitely a great plane but i was working by the end of the day it was dead calm it didn't matter which way we were coming from and we busted out the P-61. What a doll, baby. I cannot believe how light it flies. You guys are going to love it. All the Dynam stuff seems to fly really nice and light. Almost all the same. But um, you guys will judge for yourself. We got our build videos. We're going to talk about the problems they've had. We're going to kind of let B Bobby get here first because he's really the expert at this point uh, between version 1 and version 2. Shout out time. Bledsoe Trains, John Rogers, Paul Hatcher, Farmer Man, what's up? Eric Quinn, Jackson RC Aviation. Thank you for the super chat, by the way, Farmer Man. Um, Michael Honeychuck, he says, open the box. We're, who are you going to wait for Bobby to show up, my friend? Uh, we did do, Bobby did film a build. So uh, if you don't get enough from Wesley, you can get more over here. And we've got a lot coming out this week. Jeff's Custom RC, Fred Mud Bud. Uh, it does have lights on it, the P-61. Uh -huh. Ryan O, what's up? Wreckham Roy's. Guniak, very busy day. Flew your afterburner in the uh, E-Flight F-18. Look cool. Timothy Tutant, uh, thank you for that, Guniak. Eric Quinn, Shadow Ops. Whoa, sounds like a medical problem. I had to blow Prius repellent in the truck today. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> they had to roll some coal. Um... Lee Davidson, Jeff, Guniak, GB Linden, Ola, como esta, mi amigo? Uh, for Josh Weaver, what's happening, 75? Open Hugo Enrique, box. open the box. <laughs> you got to wait for Bobby K. Mr. T, 1035, let's go, he says. Um, wreck him, Roy, Jeff. So, Scott Parnell, all you new guys, thanks for coming by. Ma Michael Rashka, Raymond Molina, what's up? So, while we're waiting on Bobby, is it bad form to talk about something else? I don't know, is it? We did pop a dot on F4 today. Does that count for anything? What'd you say? Are we allowed to show some papa dotting? Show some papa dotting, yeah. We yeah, got we a papa dot. The F4 E flight. Like, last week on last our show, week, we're getting so, ready to fly it. Uh, I, I was so impressed with the airplane as far as the fit and the paint. And I just see certain planes that I can't say no to. So, anyway, this is what. And the dots look like on this plane. I really love love. I wow, mean, that looks awesome. Yeah. So, so you've got one of these, so you kind of can tell the yeah, difference between. You know, the, the thing is, is that totally. It, it to me, it just brings out just a little bit more of that pop. It just pops when you got the dots on it. So you guys that want to do something for your airplanes, I can't. I love the gray because the dots just pop out on the gray finishes. Uh, the worst one, I guess, is the Navy planes, the, the dark uh, blue on the Navy planes. They don't do as well, but these planes that have the gray, it's just, just yells, dot me to me. You know what? Um, right, sometimes on, on the darker planes, I've, I've done a little bit of that with like a silver um, yeah. pen, which is kind of neat, you know? Mm -hmm. But so, you guys have some fun with your airplanes. That's what I'm always trying to do with these yes. dots. Is just give you something to, you know, have fun with them. And I plan on having him do the P61 and then airbrush it up, make it all dirty. Hey, Bobby wants to know what I want from the gas station. Uh, Starbucks, duh. That's what you always have at Starbucks. Coffee, dude. I didn't have time tonight. I never do. He but wants so, a uh, pumpkin you know, one slice. One thing I will pumpkin. say, and I'll, no. I'll shut up about the Papa dots. Uh, the 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 jets take more. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, dots on them. Jets. <laughs> the, the, I don't know what the difference is between a, a 
P51 and an F4, but I'm telling you what, you got to really be serious about those Papa Dots on these jets. <laughs> There's a lot of panel on. lines. But anyway, that's, that's enough on yeah. that. Get, it, get I, back I, out of the rat hole. I wanted to answer, I know guys saw my Facebook Live today, a lot of guys. Um, when I'm on my way out to the field, I'm so pumped, and we got a car full of projects, and then Bobby had some stuff as well. Uh, so we got video of the Tiger Cat. We got video of the Beaver. We got video of the F-18 for whoever was asking. That'll be coming. I mean, it was just today. Uh, we, we filmed until the camera and the microphone ran out of battery. I mean, we went nuts. Yep. And then we used our cell phone after that for some Instagram stuff. But um, So, yeah, Black Widow version one flew. Um, Beaver, Tiger Cat, F-18 a bunch of times. And, yes, Dennis Farley, I did fly the P-47. The Arrows RC uh, P-47. Recomeroy, the P-61 comes in a couple different completion levels. If you want to fly or buy a Detrim radio, you can get like a ready-to-fly package. You can get, I believe, a bind-and-play. I don't know what they call it exactly with one of the Detrim receivers in it already. Or you can just straight up go plug-and-play. Well, I, I, think, I think they're 250. I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Hey, Ryan, I'm looking at the box, and I was kind of wondering what it was meaning on this box, and maybe that's what you're talking about. It says... There's four checks on this box that says RTF, SRTF, P and P. Everybody yep. knows what that is. RTB. Maybe ready to bind. Ready to bind. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the RTF is. Ready to fly. Ready yeah, to fly. ready to, ready to fly. fly. Ready to There's fly. ready to fly. SRTF. Yep, ready to fly. Stabilized. Ready to fly. Okay. Uh, Plug and fly. Uh, Plug and play, and then the RTD. Um, GB. It's one number away from being a Star Wars character. So R two D two would be a Star Wars character, and you would know exactly what you had there. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is either. But you got ready to fly, ready to fly with stabilization, plug and play, and then ready to buy. Well, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here you go. Look Lori's gonna load up the product page for you right go. now. Right, Plug yeah. and play. So I can't see that, but what is it? Two fifty nine. Two fifty nine. Yep. Two fifty nine. Go triple time. Get a big Sunday and eat it with some pleasure, because peanuts aren't for free. And but the P sixty one is two fifty nine. Plug and play. Four S Power. And there, and right. guys, you can't get one anywhere else. There's no other phone P sixty one. We flew it today. It was a lot of fun. We're going to fly version two in the future. Wesley's going to do some workups as well. Uh -huh. we got a build video coming. Version two, Dynam is trying. Stick with BitGo. They're where you get it, unless you got somebody local who's also getting it from BitGo. But I recommend that you use Pilot Ryan Media's links because it helps us earn money to keep this crazy thing going. So okay. I appreciate that. When, when, when YouTubers say the link's in the description, there's a good reason. They're earning commission off that. Help them out. Bookmark that stuff, and Christmas is coming. Do it with Amazon as well. PilotRyanMedia.com. It's all in one place, guys. Ta -da. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> Look at that logo. It's like Lori is on point tonight. <laughs> Man, you guys like the way the logo works? Lori Boozer took some input and turned it into reality. It looks beautiful that, to me. That reminds, I, I've seen his logo and it reminds me of something else I've seen. I, I know what it is. Oh, I, is it? I'm okay. going to keep it to I myself. I know what it is now. I think about it. Okay. <laughs> I know what it is too. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not going to no, say no, it. No, look, don't look, say look. It. He's, he's throwing you some hints. <laughs> I know what yeah. it is. Oh, I yeah. I know what it is down there. Everybody, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> nope, don't say. No, nope. that looks good though. Hey, baby, I said uh, that's that is cool. <laughs> it looks amazing, it and does. Wes, Wes, Wesley knows that I was actually thinking of that one before he's I made been the, saying that. that one. <laughs> as long as I know him, he said that's what he wanted his logo to look like. Well, it it, it, <laughs> it does. It looks like it. <laughs> and you know what? Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It is cool, guys. And, and and the minute Lori got done with those logos, I, I went and made some new merch on the stores. That, that's available as well. Mr. T1035, the E-Flight F-18 opinion is it's awesome. 
And I want to talk about that. Uh, I suppose we can talk about it right now. Are we premature in talking about the F-18? I think you can. I haven't got to fly mine yet. I haven't got to unbox it yet. So I don't know anything about it. I haven't even seen it physically yet because Kevin's bringing it to me tomorrow. The MSJ-143 asked for the BitGo link. Thank you. Um, thank you, Farmer Man. So Lori is working as my proxy, dropping links as Pilot Ryan Media right now. Thank you so much for that, Lori. Um, that gets you to BitGo Hobby and from there go mm -hmm. shopping. Bookmark that link. If you're going to get stuff at BitGo, either bookmark it or go through PilotRyanMedia.com. Thank you very much. Uh, and also, if you're on social, BitGo, we're, we're helping flesh out their socials with Instagram and Facebook. Uh, YouTube is on its way. Uh, we've got to get some some videos filmed, some more videos filmed. But for now, you're going to see them over on this channel because there's actually people subscribed to this channel that will see the product. So we're kind of doing both. Um the F-18 is fantastic. Now, you guys will see my videos coming out this week on this plane, but just for those of you who are about to fly yours, uh, let's just go there. You know I like my stuff nose heavy. Uh -huh. The CG is way back on that one. If you look at the book, the CG is way back, like right before the wheels if it's already loaded up. It's way back. Um, I flew with the 5,000 Admiral, the new ones, all the way forward, clean, except for the wingtips. Low rate, it's full flank stab. Low rate, and that son of a gun about didn't rotate. I went all, every bit of the runway. So I, the next flight, and it was still, it flew amazing though, by the way. Um, next flight, what I do different. Next flight, I moved the battery back a little, um, maybe an inch and uh high rate man it's that son of a gun still don't want to rotate all right landed it right away put half flaps in took off a lot shorter so what i think's going on on this plane it's it's awesome this but like be this. ready you, you need you need to get your speed up and i would go for um definitely get take to heart their cg in the book because i was definitely forward like always um and man, I, we flew 4,000s in it, and it was awesome. So we started with 5,000s, flew 4,000s in it. It was sweet. Um, kept moving that battery back, put a 4,000 in it, take off flaps. It's off in more reasonable amount of time. But I think what's happening is this. So it sits under load, basically fixed on the mains, right? And then the, the nose gear is... It's unloaded until you start rolling, and we're on bumpy geotech. So right now, the angle of attack on this plane is it's, it's probably almost dead neutral, just right, maybe slightly up on the nose. But once you start rolling, your nose is coming down a, hand, a little bit, right? It's bouncing. You know, the mains are already com fully compressed, really, um, until you get light on them. So the angle of attack, I think, is just a little bit down. So when you, you make sure you take off uh, high rate, give yourself, I think, half laps, be ready for a rollout, um, and get get it get it going. Speed it up. And if you're not bumping around like we were, I think you'll get off sooner. But you guys will see I used every bit of runway uh, at low rate with no flaps and a 5,000 all the way forward. So definitely mind the CG, but in the air, amazing. The 80-millimeter in-runner is just dope. And I had Guniac's afterburner in it. I put that in very easily last night. Um, sweet. It's sweet. I think you guys are going to like that. I'm Just excited be ready. about it, yeah. Just be ready. I'll tell you in the video what's up. You guys will kind of now maybe hopefully lean that way when you're starting. And, and maybe that will save you from having some trouble. Because that's really what we're all about here. We're not picking on planes. We're just telling you how to be successful with them the best we can. The things that worked for us. Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm super excited for it, man. Um, I really haven't flown a bad E-Flight plane that I can think of. They've all been really good airplanes. And so I can only imagine that the F-4 and the F-18 are both going to be great. I still stick with it. I think my favorite plane I've flown all year is the 70mm E-Flight F-16. I love that it's airplane. It's nice. The airliner wasn't bad either. Don't get me wrong. 
<laughs> it may, I mean, oh, right. Different planet of airplanes. I'm talking about fighter jets right now, though. But uh, and you know what? You you if you like FMS planes, you're gonna like E flight planes, right? I mean, um, they're they're nice. They're good. They're different. And it's again choices. Choices. I have flown the 70 millimeter F18, and I loved it. And that's why I knew I was gonna like the 90. And that's also, again, why I, I knew I was going to like the 80. And I don't like the 64 at all. But those three are amazing to me. I've never flown the 64. I've flown the 90 millimeter free wing. I have one. And uh, I, I love the big 90, so I imagine I'm going to like the 70. Excuse me, i got the hiccups right now. This is a 70, right? 80. Is it an 80? Whatever it is. It's going to be awesome. I know it is. It's an 80. It's an 80, dude, and you're really not going to – I mean, I know E-Flight guys said they did a 7,000, and they probably put it back back as far as they could. Right. Uh, and I think those smart 7,000s are a lot lighter than you would think a 7,000 is going to be. But, yeah, guys, if you know what's neat about the 80s is you can get along with a 4,000 and a 4,500 or, you know, somewhere in there and, and still be rocking. And, I mean, a 5,000 fits – and you can move it back, but it's you're starting to get heavy, but it can do it. So the one thing is on the 70 millimeter, you're not going to put anything big. I would say don't put anything bigger than a 4,000 in there. Or you're going to start to suffer a weight penalty. I know guys do. But um, for me, 4,000, probably even a little bit less on the 70 was the sweet spot. On this 80 millimeter, 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, all workable to me. Um, on the big one... You can load that son of a gun up, though. It's it's really cool. It, it's it's a nice plane. We both just noticed we were both sitting in lowrider chairs right then. We forgot to ever raise them back up. <laughs> your your chrome is shiny just like an icicle. You ride around town on your lowrider bicycle. Right. Bicycle. Easy place, baby. Dave's RC in the house, man. What is up? So, did you figure out your afterburner mess last night, Dave? Ooh. <laughs> That's a mini series. That's right. On on public television, right after uh, Downton Abbey or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Love uh, you, Dave. Oh, goodness sakes. Farmer Man Rose, $2 at a time, man. I'm going to retire soon. Keep it up. I love it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Painting the MiG-17 just ordered the graphic sheet from Cali. All right, somebody's getting rid of the milk cow. Oh. Fantastic. I know you guys want to see the Dynam plane, guys. Um, let's start cracking into it, Wesley. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do if I don't? <laughs> not not I'm one. just kidding. All right, Laura, you want to start getting us to the top, and we shall start cracking her open. All right, guys. Talk, this is what talk Wesley about this other stuff later. At. Yeah, yeah. Wesley loves this. I do. So well, what we were talking about earlier, it says it down here. This is where we were talking about the ready to fly versus yeah. the SRT and stuff. It says it down here. But it does, um, check it it does also say experience level two. So I don't know if is Dynam starting to do that on a lot of their planes. I mean, it seems par for the course a lot of times these days. I, I think it's not the flying; it's the building. Uh -huh. Yeah, for it's, real. It's the, it's the putting it together, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. So anyway, uh, we kind of went over the specs already. Let's just start getting this off. That's well, what everybody wants to see. <laughs> tell them this right here. The, the weeds. They, they know they, it. They don't we were showing it earlier. inches and all that good stuff. Yeah. Ah, ah, hang on. Let me get on the other side. ESCs and Ryan will go through all that yeah, stuff. He'll go through. Don't worry about that. All right. All right. Let me have this. Okay. Ta-da! Check it out. So we got a wing spar right off the bat. Wow, this that thing is long. long. <laughs> That's got to be three foot long. Yeah, that wing spar is long for this plane. I normally let you look down at it, but I don't know if I can get it up there. <laughs> it is anyway, carbon spar. Carbon that, spar. Thank you, Lori. I knew somebody would. <laughs> Did we get a That's what she said? Yeah, from yeah. your girl. Yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> Um, all right, so these... Bill Shepard, I'm sorry, Wesley, I'm going to answer questions as you go. No, you're good. Um, Bill Shepard, version two is what's on the site, and this is what we're looking at now, version two. 
Wesley's uh, got a mold made of himself. Look yep. at him. Yeah, looking good. The other half of him, this he don't like, even got no legs. They look Lieutenant like car Dan. racers. <laughs> okay. So there you go. There's your pilots. Just for you guys. I'm going to set them off to the side here. All right. Well, I guess we kind of got to go straight for the big piece right off the bat on this yeah, one. You don't have much of a choice. Yeah. One large, let me kind of slide this over like this. Okay. And you do that. Trying to figure the best way to do this here. There you go. So, so since I've got a little bit of experience, not as much as Bobby, but if you look at the way the cows fit on this one, it's way better than some of the early versions that you guys have known. Now, there's a little bit of gap there, but it's not uh, exorbitant like it used to be. And keep in mind, if you don't want a P61, well, don't get one. Yeah. But if you want one, this is it. That and I'll tell you what, there is a good gap in there. Maybe you have to re-glue a magnet. Who knows? Right. I, I mean, I'm uh, just pulling it out of the box. It may not even be seated yet. Hey, man, look at $250 for a twin engine, never... Uh, available anywhere else what are you going to do if you're into P61's this is where it's at but I got to tell you this I saw the version 1 on the bench and I'm like man that son of a gun is rough but when you fly it the rest of it I mean the finish is not bad it all all the little discrepancies tend to melt away once you get that son of a gun in the air because you're going to look like a stud that thing flies so nice and it then, really does, guys. I know this is something from the original one that I've seen from a lot of guys, but all the plastic bits are the same color as the airplane now. Yes, and that was a big gripe with the early one. So now it's all been painted at once where so everything's flat paint. Yep. Colin, these are available now. Um, and if you go plug and play, they're 259 at the BitGo link, which is here in the chat, and somebody can drop it. There's your battery bay. Look at all that plywood to hold the nose strong. And then the uh, the wires used to be more of a mess, but see how they come in through the top there now? Yep. That's something that wasn't always like that. So that access, I think, is something. Um, I know, actually, on the B-26, I did that, cut through the top or made an opening bigger to, to use that deck. Um, and Bobby did the same thing on his V1 and showed the guys at Dynam, and now they're coming that way. Yeah. So these folks are listening, and they're trying, guys. And you know what? If you get something and it's wrong, all you got to do is contact BitGo, have your order number, and he's going to make it right. Uh, pre-installed flaps, ailerons, you know, everything's pre-installed that they can. You're going to love it when you fly it, dude. Nice. It flies like it's got stabilization, but it doesn't. A little bit of squish to the tires, too. Trying to get it up there where y'all can see in the wheel well. Anyway. There you go. Yeah, and like I, I mean, said, the overall finish of it, it's pretty smooth. I don't see any kind of big imperfections or nothing. You know, I mean, it's pretty smooth. Paint's not. The paint looks way better than it used yeah, to. Yeah, the paint doesn't look bad. It's all it's uniform. It's flat black. I mean... You know, you can't do much with black, but it's... Yeah. it's it, you know, Keep this one out of the sun at your local hobby yeah. field. <laughs> yeah, that's one warning, this black. On guy. black. There you go. You know what? There's a couple guys who've customized um, uh, olive drab ones that just look neat. I'm just going to get this. They look yeah. really neat. So here's your kind of turtle deck part for the top. Dude, the thing looks like a spaceship. Hey, wait, there's still stuff in there. Okay. And it's got, it's got, and the guns go in there and stuff. It's got anhedral, which is kind of interesting, like a B-25. And I had to look it up because I was thinking, when I saw that anhedral and thought B-25, I thought North American Aviation. But it's a Grumman, Northrop Grumman plane. Right. Nose cone. Which I, I had to look, I had to look that up because I couldn't remember. Sure plow. Nose cone is definitely magnetic. Hey, those magnets are seating. Yep. This right here, just because of this, I'm going to have to do a little bit of wiggling to get that down. Just to show hey, you. you know what? You, this is little modeling. modeling. Yeah. So you're, you're going to have to. The wires are hitting that, so I'll just have to trim that a little bit, and it'll go right down on there. But there's that. Cool. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. That thing looks like it's something from Star Wars. It does. Man. Your uh, canopy here. It looks good. Now, they probably still send that crazy kind of super glue stuff for the canopy. Just don't use it. You Use that other. Oh, yeah. Use the glue we're all used to. White canopy glue. Use that kind of foam tack stuff or, or, or the other stuff. Let's see here. Let me see if I can hold this up here and show you the canopy on it. Kind of. I think it, I'm, I'm pumped. Dude, dude. it looks cool. Well, I've yeah. always thought the uh, Black Widow was a sweet airplane, you know? And just, Bobby's got the V1. I said, hey, man, can I get one of these? Right. <laughs> to have one, finally. I mean, like I said, it's one of those planes that I was like, oh, I didn't think anybody would ever actually make one. You know? It's like yeah. a B-24 or whatever. There's, there's, you know, everybody wants a P-51 to start with, but it's like, man, I want something different, and this is definitely different. You know, I was gonna, I, I, I was waiting to fly one of these back in the day, but that version one got released kind of too soon, and it wasn't quite right, and whatever story with all that, and I never got a chance. So now I'm getting a chance, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of pumped. The, the fitment to me, I don't see anything that's a big gap anywhere. There's, I mean, they're not like perfect small gaps, but it's nothing. I mean, look at the cowling; it doesn't look that bad. No. That's no, not a that's bad not, gap at all. It looks like the that's normal way panel lines. It was. Yeah. Is that in this bolt on shafts, right? Right, right. Bolt on shafts. Perfect. I don't want to tear it over right now because I have all the glass sitting on it, but there's Sure. There's kind of the glass yes. and everything, guys, for that top shot. It is a four S plane, uh RC Waz dude. Yes, it is a four S plane. Uh typically guys seem to like four I think I know with the B-26, I didn't want to go any lighter than a 3600. So, and it's actually really deep in the battery bay. I know um, guys are getting away with 5000s in there, which is crazy, but it can do it. And it still flies super light. It's cr it's really neat. That's, Wild Bill, what is I'm going on? I'm guessing that's your light module. That's your light driver, and you'll be able to set your lights the way you want. And that's one thing, too, that is version 2. Uh, the old ones, or maybe maybe version one had them on this one, but some of the other version ones that have been around for a minute, you had to solder your own ends on, and then they were very dim. Uh, let the trains. See you later. Four sets of props, so you get two extras with this by the look of it. That's right. That's nice. The, the Dynam's always sent extra props, which is kind of cool. And are they counter rotators? They are. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Big four bladers. Four bladers and counter rotating. George Watts, good to see you. He likes RC fifty six blue wait, for wait, canopies. Wait, 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 wait. I guess you want to open all the little bits. Right all wow, glue. they give you a lot of glue with this one. Three tubes of glue. Nice. You know, the only thing I'm always worried about with these twin boom tails is the the strength of the tail. Did you, you have you haven't had any issues with the with the boom on these things, have you, Ryan? I take it not. Hold on a minute, dudes. Oh, here comes the man himself walking in with another one. Hey, check it out. Well, here's the nose cone. Once in a day. Yeah. Man. The spinners. Look at that, dude. Hey, I'm going to lose my headphones for a minute. Y'all be right ahead. back. All right. I'm going to just keep unboxing some of these little bits. They're uh, hard plastic spinners, right? Yep. They're not metal. They're just hard plastic. <laughs> they give you a lot of glue with this kit. Oh, it. And we don't have a top cam today, Bobby. They give you three. Because we're just doing it like this. You got three tubes of glue? Yeah. Hey, guys. Bobby K's in the house. We got a P61 behind us. This thing is super nice, and this hey, is the one. You got those guns. <laughs> the guns are kind of cool. Lots of guns. Can you hear it all yep. in here? Dang. Gosh, should have got two sets. Look at those guns. Those are nice. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You look Guns. laughs> anyway, you get uh, four sets of guns. I, guess, I don't know how to make those it work. Go up in here? As long as I can read. Yeah, okay. You get four of those, though. Yeah, that's for that top 
turret, I believe, those guns. Is it? Is it? Yeah. We'll figure that out. I brought your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where else they'd go. Well, there's another set of guns here. There's guns for. There's guns that go all over the thing. Yeah, this thing's. This was a gunship. Okay, uh, let's see yeah, here. We got this. The, graphics. And it looks like you get actual decals now, not stickers, which is nice. That's right. Water, you get water, water slides. Yep. Okay. You get water, water slides, slides now decals. instead of um, the old shiny decals. Yeah. And uh, those water slides are way better than what. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. I got to figure. Hey, Lori, how can I make it where Bobby can hear what's going on oh, without you know screwing up I'll the deal? I'll put it on my phone. You got headphones? No, nah, put a set of headphones on him. One yeah, in each ear. Yeah, you just need a splitter for headphones. I'm trying to figure out how to show you all that. Hey, you know what? I gotta. It's gonna be. It's gonna have a lag to it. Hold all these right. for a minute, guys. I'm gonna be back and try to get oh, Bobby. You know what? I have headphones. Do you for your phone? Yeah. Use those ones. Okay. You might have a lag though. Girl's not naked. Yeah, there'll be a bit of a lag. She's not naked enough. Not naked enough to flop her. I don't. I don't know what else I can do. Dang, look at all these bombs. I'm excited, man. This is going to be a cool airplane. It just looks neat sitting on the table, too. It doesn't look it's, like anything else. It's a sleeper. I'm telling you, there's no other P-61. It flies really good. And yes, it is version 2. Try to fly them. Uh, good to see you here, Sean Fayol. What's going on? Um, just wait until you fly it. Dude, it, it flies awesome. It did. So it really fun. did fly awesome, and I can't wait. The one we have back here is version one. Our version two is still on the bench because Bobby's doing a build video on the version two to really give you guys a good overview at what the difference is between one and two. Yeah. Bombs, baby. Drop tanks next. Drop tanks. Napalm canisters if you're flying fast enough. Oops. Huh. There you go. No, it's sweet. I like it. It is so ugly, Jesse. So ugly, it's pretty. That's right. It could be uglier. You know, helicopters are so ugly, the Earth repels them. They don't actually fly. <laughs> <laughs> There's your other drop tanks. Jackson RC Aviation, 100% having a pilot yeah, party tonight at Pilot Ryan Media. Okay, here comes our uh, elevator. Not to be quiet here, I'm concentrating. No, that's all right. Dude, no, it's cool, yeah. The, and I can definitely tell the finish is a little bit better now on these two. Yeah, let me see, what is it? It's not, is it a lightning? Well, I can do this or I can Black do... Black is such a You got a, a regular color. kind with the, the... Doesn't come with ball lengths. It comes with just a regular... Uh... The wingspan is 59 inches. Yes, that. Right. Here, right here, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah. There should be an icon for it, too. See, the um, uh, elevator servo looks different than some of the other Dynam servos I've seen before, too. Did they change that? Uh, I think they might have put a black one in there, and they maybe beefed it up. I think the one on version 1 is clear. I can't recall. One thing I would go on and recommend... The elevator servo, Bobby. Something I would go on and recommend to all you guys if you get this kit, if yours comes like this, put you a piece of clear tubing around that. Just a little piece of insurance. You agree, Ryan? Black. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. That's right. A little keeper, yep. man. Some silicone tube. Yep. Or a few right around tubing. that, guys. Yep. Always a good idea. 124 hangar rats in here right now, Fred. Holy smokes. 524,000. We appreciate 600, you guys coming man, by. Like that. hit the, that's a record. And, and like Pop always says, says, hit that like button, would you? <laughs> oh, this is a baller if you can hear it, Bobby. Here we go. Here's our first... Tail now, this boom. is what I wanted to see. How do they attach the booms? So do you get any kind of carbon between here and the front? In the booms? Or did it not feel like well, it needed anything? I, you know what? We'll have to let Bobby answer that one in a minute. Is that working at all? Okay. Bobby? Nope. Really? Yeah. Hold on a minute. That's crazy. Now, are you hearing it? Yeah, I can hear it. I'm in here. But when I plug in yeah, there, I, I can still hold on a minute. Let me see that. 
I don't want to screw up the whole thing though. Why? That should work. One of those should work, Bobby. The first servo I've ever been able to Nothing. see you. Yeah. Turn up the volume on those. A lot of dynamos do that actually. Put in the other one. Make sure. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. I can probably actually hear it through my phone. <sighs> Yeah, it'll just have a lag to it a little bit. <laughs> what was that, Lori? Do you hear anything? Tim, Tuton, thanks so much for that. So, with the horizontal stab, I think if there's a spar in it at all, it's just built in. Yeah. Um, well, the rudders are actually uh, just foam. Um, so, yeah, this is fine. one of those kits you got, you got to glue. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really impressed with the battery bay having all that plywood in there. Um, and classic, you know, dynam. Sometimes you're you might have a little bit of a curl to a surface or here or there. Yeah. You know. Like I said, that one we flew today, it looked like hell on the bench. But that son of a gun in the air was dynamite. Did you? Did you, fly it like did you guys put this through some paces as far as really putting some stress on the tail? You know what? We were just at the end of the day, um, kind of just, we got like 13 minutes on that battery. So we were just oh. all took a spin on it and we're kind of taking it easy. I don't know if I did any rolls at all. You know, that, that, I, was, I couldn't get over the slow flight with it. It yeah. flies good upside down too. I put the flaps in like kind of right. I mean, I was kind of impressed with the vertical actually. And, and then I put the flaps in right away and started shooting touch and goes because we had already expired the battery on our good camera. So I knew I had to keep it close. Oh, yeah. So we were using the cell phone. I was like, let's not get complete garbage. And so we, uh, you know, just I just kept the gear down and shot some landings in the flaps and mm -hmm. dug the One slope. Day. That's the only but thing. We will, we will ring out version two. For sure. You know, oh, one yeah. thing I can see, and I know where he's going with it, and that I might personally do it, not everybody does have to, but I might add a little bit of carbon, just because I've had some issues in the past with twin no. boom airplanes, I may add a little carbon in here, and it's something, it may never need it, but just to stiffen this up. Is there a place in there? That... You know what I'm saying? I'm put a that's piece of carbon sure, in here, man. going from here yeah, to there. Yeah. That's to each of you guys' own. Yeah, maybe some... maybe two small ones at the top and the bottom. So Something. Yeah, it's, it'd just... be easy enough to do. Where, but we've had other twin boom airplanes in the past. If you really go to yanking on them, it probably that's, won't that's hurt a thing that. to add a little in here. And I think we're going to go on. It add depends some on how stressful you're going to fly this airplane. Right. Now, if you're just going to fly it around in a circle, circle, no problem. But and do rolls with it, okay. But if you're going, he knows to me, and I fly like a maniac, like Bobby. Some paces, then I might suggest to like, right he knows that i fly like bobby and it's probably going to be flying a lot of inverted and, and we're not and crazy talking about stuff. a big uh, uh it'll handle it i'm sure it will it's just one of those things i like the little bit of insurance to do that kind of stuff if you know you're gonna if you know you're gonna load it up, up yeah. right. to and fly big batteries yeah you do it that it doesn't stuff hurt anything guys we're not saying you nope. have to do it i would personally do it for myself I get it. You know what I mean? Dennis Farley's right. Err. There's not a lot there's not a lot of mold marks on this one. No, it's really if, clean. If they're, they're underneath if there are any. I've been really impressed. I mean yeah, the paint job's coming out great and there's not really any like the top here, yeah. there's no mold. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you got it you right there. You see it? You don't see it there. There's none there, but you turn it over. Those are the spar marks. They're not even... But, well, but they're they little be. mold. The moldy marks yep. are on the bottom. But the tops are just yeah. right. Here's the top of the other wing. No no mold marks, once again. I mean... That looks nice. Right? I mean, they yeah. did a good job on a paint job on this. I love how the plastic bits are flat now. Right. Instead of and if you want to make the if you want to make the lights look flat, you know what I do sometimes? I'll put hinge tape over that. That's a good idea. The whole thing. The whole clear deal... I'll put hinge tape right but over. But another it. thing is these uh, these uh, servo attachment horns are, are double. They're screwed through with a screw, just like you was doing the old boss planes. Did you notice that on all the? No, you're talking about the actual the servo itself. attachment here. See where the yeah, screw? yeah. So you got a plastic. Plate. You yeah, got, got back, back plates, plates on, on them. them. So you're not gonna yeah. have a problem there. 
There are some flowers on the bottom, but that's, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip. This is dying, awesome. guys. We're not trying to tell you it's not. I mean, that's part of it. But at least they put them on the bottom and nothing on the top. Yeah. Mold marks. Wait till you fly it, man. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Going. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. awesome. Oh, man. It's big. I can't wait till you get two of them. Up. Well, I, know. I have officially got all my parts out. All right, put it together, man. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Set all this over here in the box for a second. See you tomorrow. <laughs> no, you, you're gonna, you know, I'm going to blow you away here in a second. It's not a five-minute build, but, no. you know. No, but I think I can piece it together here on the table real quick. Nice. Yeah, I'll take a little modeling here and there, but other yeah, than that. It's typical dino stuff, you know. It's nothing big deal. It's not like it's a big deal to do it. If you're... If you're expecting to take this out and put four screws in it, don't this isn't the airplane for you. But if you don't mind doing a little bit of work to have a, a plane that nobody else at the field's got yet, or something that you can only get this one from, you know, it's totally worth it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And especially for the price point, you know. Right. Yeah, two fifty nine plug and play. Yep. Can you guys hear Bobby all right? Yes. All right, good. Yeah, I can hear him. So Bob, I'm going to let Bobby rip a little bit on, on some of these differences between version 1 and version 2. I talked about it a little bit, what I knew. I don't put all that. But there. things that you I noticed, and we're going to, I think, speak to it very it. well yeah, in the works. build and even the flight reviews. But, Bobby, if you want to just rip on, on it a little bit, tell what some of the differences are that you noticed right away when you were building version 2. Well, the first... The paint. I couldn't get over the paint. The paint looks really good. They're starting to change the paint on a lot of the models, too. All your B2s are going to have different paint on them. And then another thing that I noticed um, is if you take off that, that gun turret hatch, there never used to be a hole there okay. for the spaghetti to come through. Yes. It all came like the battery bay, and, man, it was a pain in the butt. And so There he like, is. That's yes. it. Yeah, that's it right there. It used to be yep. all in the battery bay. Like, oh, yeah. The battery bay's big, but not if it's full of spaghetti. Oh, dude, it was horrible. Yeah, that so they switched that, and now everything comes up. That and if you do a little bit of trimming and get a little um, artistic with it, I guess you'd say, you cut that out. Your receiver fits nice up top there. It's easy access if you need to change anything. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty good. And then... Another thing they did was they tweaked the molds a little bit to get the cowling to fit a little bit better. Um, it, it's actually the one I got. It was really snug. Yes, this, Tim. This cow looks great. I mean, it's right to the fuse. I mean, it's no gaps, no nothing. The, it looks a thousand times better than the version one we flew today. Yeah. Which flew great, but looks like heck. This thing looks great. Stand, sitting here. Which is which is just cool. Don Wilman, good good to see you. So Cal, what's up? Good to see you. Yes, counter rotating props. You get an extra set. You get four props with this yeah. bird, you guys. Four props. Pay it forward, RC. What's going on? Does have Shadow lights. Ops, George Watts. George Watts, one hundred percent correct. Does, yes. Does it have lights on the each wing tip, and then anything else. And then landing lights. Okay, landing lights. Okay. And then the. Also, they've been upgraded. The retracts have been upgraded as yeah, well. Yeah, they had a little bit of issue with them at first, and I can't exactly remember what it is that they tweaked some type of uh, the electronics or solder or something like that. And uh, the retracts were great now; they're pretty flawless. Uh, Bolt-on shafts for the props. Lori, can you make Steve Gubala a moderator for me, please? It's uh, 50 bucks, made payable to Pilot Ryan Media <laughs> Studios. We'll accept it in the form of Super Chat, if you'd like. I'm just teasing, Steve. Give him a wrench. Yep. Oh, yeah. Bolt-on shaft. Look at it. That's the, one of the best parts. <laughs> it's, man, it's a sleeper. It really is. Just wait until you fly. It on. is a sleeper. And you know what I've done on some of the Dynams? Now, I got to fly a lot of Dynams at Motion, and we would have a lot of fun with them, but... Uh, Sometimes those cows would pull up into the props. Yeah. If you don't think that magnets are seating well, um, they have this thing in modeling called glue. Yep. Or tape. And you can use some if you'd like. Really? Yes. I would put some thing? on that hinge yeah, tape on the bottom of the cowlings. And maybe a dot of glue that you weren't going to see on top or whatever. They're just tight. And um, 
Just How much glue does it take? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of gluing to it, Bledsoe. You're going to yeah. glue on the booms. You're going to glue on the canopies, glass, yeah. the guns, and uh, the horizontal glues. But the verticals are on the booms already. Yeah. Yep. So that's it. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, it's really not. It's impressive in person. It, 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 I don't think I'd ever really seen one before. Oh, man, it's... In person. A lot of the shows I've been to... 59 um, inches, Eric. Yeah, a lot of the shows I've been to... Like B1, but, uh, Showstopper. Catches, yeah, it catches a lot of eyes. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't even know that there's one out there. I know it. Like I say, it's a sleeper, guys. Yeah. If you guys like the value of the dining planes and you like fiddling a little bit, this stuff is right up your alley. Yeah. Like I said, it's definitely not a pull it out of the box, put four screws in it, and you're done playing. But I think two hours, realistically. Taking your time. You know, checking everything. I agree. Um, a guy, Rob Henderson asks for a B-26 Marauder comparison. Um, now, the builds Front the beat. builds are going to be very... Well, I have. Uh, and I'm going to tell you. So, so the builds are going to be very, similar, except for the booms. But the B-26 flies nice and light if you keep it that way. Yep. Um, but I kind of think the Black Widow is a gentler flyer. Oh, it takes the cake for sure. The 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 wing, what, what am I getting at? The airfoil is thicker on the P-61. It, it flies lighter on the wing. The uh, I felt like the B-26, especially once you load it up, needed to really be in the power the the wings kind of thin i loved it um guys will talk on and on about the incidents on the tail on the b26 how many planes have you had that asked for up trim at neutral just do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh so anyway raven rock good to see you there will be enough glue to sniff afterwards i'm sure or while you're doing it did they rework the landing gear, Bill Shepard asks, yes, Bobby? They did. Yep. Yes, they did, he says. Did. I don't know exactly what, but um, I think they're trying to improve on that cold weather exactly. reputation. Oh, yeah, man. And they're they're spending a lot of money in um, in the electronical area, too. So I know. all those and that kind of thing, everything is going to be getting upgraded. So all the V2s and stuff. Hopefully you guys won't be seeing a lot of failures and stuff. I know there's been a lot of complaints about servo failure or landing gears not going up and down in cold weather. And it's all things that we're trying to fix and prove and um, get wow, all dialed shadow. in. So Cold weather, One so like 65 degrees. degrees. That's amazing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You know what? You never know, right? I mean, <laughs> I, that these was are a things Florida joke. <laughs> we, we've, that we've heard that they're working on it. Um, and and we we're seeing some of that. Yeah. But it you know we you know, know what we're dealing with and and it things happen slowly, but they've not gone away. Go to BitGo. This is where this stuff. Or if you got somebody local, they're getting it from BitGo anyway. But this stuff is supported. Oh yeah. Um. You if you have a problem, just contact customer service at BitGo yeah. and they will take care of you. Unless you're trying to pull one over. Yeah, they have excellent customer service. What are the ESCs for each motor, uh, Michael Sherman wants to know? They're 40 amps. I thought so. 40 yeah. amp ESCs. And 650 KV motors. 650, you heard them, right? There you go. How do you know that off the top of your head, yeah, Bobby? You're too smart. Shadow Ops, the B26 had a couple nicknames. Some are not very nice. Thank you for dropping the link. Uh, yeah, BitGo Hobby right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super stoked, man. Like I said, I'm super, super stoked. Always wanted a P61. I actually had the model kit when I was a little kid. Built the model kit. Had wow. it hanging off the ceiling. You know, the the, the little one. I had it forever. Yeah. The props are ten and a half inches wide. If anybody wants to know the size of the props. All half. right. Thanks. Um, <laughs> and that's going to be the same props that's are on the B26. And it might be some of the, it may be the same prop that's on the, uh, the version two four blader stuff, yeah. like the Spitfire yep. and things like that those, right now. Yeah. A lot of those are interchangeable. Yep. Make sure you get the right, not a counter rotating though. So, <laughs> yeah, right. I guess you've got one set behind you, right? I think we're all out of the box. If you kind of want to peek yours over for people to see at it. 
the yeah. Pole. Can we Put fit the, this oh, yeah. thing over here, kind yeah. of? Just kind of so the guys can see it all together. Dynamic is they don't come with the decals on. So if you want to do some crazy yes. paint scheme or something right, you like can that, do it. Dock yourself out. You don't even have to. I'm gonna paint mine hot pink. That's right. The decals do not come on. You can pick your own livery. Yep. All you got to do is t this thing. I, I'm telling the red you, the person, on the wing is so cool. Isn't that it's neat? Good, and I'm telling you, this thing flew amazing, and it looks like a stinking Star Wars plane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, and it's forgiving, too. Bobby has flown with the camera on the horizontal. Oh, yeah. I have my Velcro right here. Thank I, you, Bledsoe. I fly with a camera on there all the time. Just make sure your battery's all the way forward, and it takes right. it. Right. That's right. Correct. CG, correct in the book. Yeah, for the most part. Um... You fly 5,000 sometimes and 4,000. Yeah, yeah 4,000 and 5,000. I haven't dabbled underneath So that. you think a three might be too light? Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine. I wouldn't go lighter than a 3,600. And, and Fred, and, thank you, my friend. And a lot of the Dynams, um, for some particular reason, they love nose wave. Yeah. For some reason, a lot of them are tail heavy. But as long as you yes. see your aircraft, you usually don't have an issue because you'll catch it. So Steve Gubala wants to know, um, Fred Barron, congratulations. Your son just got married. Um, awesome. Wow, they're doing it to it. Congratulations. Uh, always great to see family and to see your, your boy find somebody that can stand them, right? <laughs> I know my folks were glad to see somebody finally, you know, uh, take on me. Um, P, is the P, Steve wants to know if the P61 is good on a grass field. Bobby's been. Oh, man. Tell him. So, I beat the crap out of this thing at a local school by me. That's all we fly off of is grass, and it's not very um, manicured grass, I guess you'll say. It's a little yeah. <laughs> bumpy and hard, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's it, man, it takes it, no problem. So is the B-26, too. The B-26 does great over there. What's neat about those planes, all right, they don't have suspension. Um, they're, they're, they're different. But they fly so nice and light on the wing, unless you just make them a dog, they don't get beat up too bad. No. And if you screw something up, there's parts to fix them. Yeah. And I'll make sure uh, when we film this some more, I'll make sure to get some grass landings and takeoffs too. It's it's nice. 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 I put the F-18 on the grass, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. Barely. I mean, <laughs> right on the edge. It was neat. Um, anyway. Yeah, P61, what a sleeper, guys. If you're not into one, that's okay. We just think it's really cool to show you something that yeah. you can't get anywhere else. And we've been working with BitGo lately, and it's, it's been really cool to kind of revisit these Dynam planes. I mean, we get to fly oh, yeah. everything here. We got the big 2,000-millimeter Beaver, the big 6S Tiger Cat, all the cool yeah. stuff. And then little tiny 850-millimeter 2S planes. Yeah. Like, we're having a blast flying it all, y'all. I'm excited for Dynam kind of coming back, too, because they had some neat airplanes that I always wanted, like the Gloucester Meteor. That's a sweet-looking yes. plane, and oh, nobody else man. has that. Dude, that one's next. And, and somebody, and it's got 12-blade power system, 4S, Dude. and it's whooshy. And someone asked about the 262. The old 262s were really whiny. Yep. But the new ones have those 70 millimeter 12 bladed fans in there that really kind of blow your mind for 4S. Man, and th man, that meteor, that that Gloucester, man, just wait. That thing is sweet and it's super fast for 4S, or it'll just stand still. I mean, you right, saw the looks, jet jam yeah. covering it. It's, that <laughs> wing looks great. like it would be super efficient on that airplane. On the meteor? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, the whole darn thing is a wing. I've never flown a 262. That's one of the only uh, free wing planes I haven't flown yet is a 262 or yeah. Dynam or what, anybody. I just never done Dynam a 262. The, the 262s are neat, and I've got to yeah. fly both. Um, the Don Willman, thanks, man. The Dynam uh, is like a glider. The Dynam one, again, every, you guys see a, 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 a pattern, a commonality, right? They all fly really light on the wing. Now, the Dynam 262 will come off in a hurry before oh, yeah. you're ready yeah it see not not in a bad way but because it's actually so light it doesn't matter it'll just power through it but that son of a gun gets light on the nose and will will be up before 
maybe you were ready. So I remember with Mike and I, we we really were cognizant of that ahead of time after the first time. And we never spilled it, but um, really try to kind of hold it down. Something about the incidents, yeah. it seems to want to take off on its own. We played with that a little bit. Yep. It flew good. And when the, it was up in the air, it was awesome. Yeah, And the first one, you got to do a little bit of modeling with the first one, too, just because of the ESC cooling. Yeah, they're, yes. They're really the yeah, ESC is the way like, they are. They're kind of like stacked on each other, and there's no airflow. So you definitely have to do a little modeling, get some air past them. Did I miss the time that you were getting out of the P61? How much time, uh, flight time do you have with that 4,000 battery? Did I miss You that? know what? Bobby says he's got 13 minutes before, but that's crazy. I would go five or six minutes at yeah. first and then check your cells out. But being a warbird, nice and light, depending on how you fly it, you can get typical flight times that you would get from like a single engine plane. Yes. Uh, really? Mikhail Brezhnev, Meteor is fantastic and an unusual. Darn it, I lost you. Where'd he go? That's fantastic as far as the flight time. No, that's really That's good. a great flight time. Yeah, I'm just going to give everybody, the, the guys that are coming in light, another shot of the plane. I flew it again. <laughs> on the one pack did you <laughs> yeah that was all we pack. all we all flew it tonight on one battery and then bobby flew it again mm -hmm. on that same battery i mean cr that's crazy yeah and that was a four thousand that wasn't even a five thousand jackson rc aviation don't forget pilots the 2020 barn burner shootout at pegasus rc club in hagerstown maryland details later stay tuned um what did i miss in here let's see Don't know. Don't know. But, yeah, guys, BigGoHobby.com. Check it out. Go to PilotRyanMedia.com, and you can see all the brands we're working with and get directly to where you need to be. Um, when you go through our links, we earn commissions over here, and that really helps us out. And that's why we do that. When YouTubers say the link's in the description, there's a good reason. So thanks for that. We've got a lot going on, and we've consolidated it all into one website to make it easy. I want to ask you guys – who signed up for the newsletter? There were like 37, 33 people, something right. like that. Sign up for the newsletter at pilotryanmedia.com. Did you get it, this, the email, this week? And did it show up in your regular inbox or did it go to the junk box? I want to know. Somebody tell me. Guys, thanks for the super chats. That's awesome. Don Willman, how easy would the wings come off for transport? Do the screws go into plastic? Don Willman, you're going to recognize the methods from the B-26. Wouldn't yes. you say, Bobby? Yep. It yep. goes together um, at the outboard of the nacelles a lot like the B-26. Yep. So whatever your opinion is on the B-26, and Don, I know you have experience with them. Um, Don is the guy who ended up with my flak bait B26. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, oh man. Yeah, Highly was... modified. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually hated to get rid of it, but it was going to a good place. So uh, on your regular email, Dennis, thank you. Guys, it takes a village. Dennis Farley's boy, one of them, Vance, Wendell, he helped me set up the website. He's a super smart guy. He does website and integrations with online and, and bricks and mortar for a living. Super smart guy. Help me out. Mitchell and Dennis help me out all the time as spiritual advisors. Bobby's helping me out. Lori has done the new logos. Wesley and his dad. It takes a village. And then these companies that love this community. It's not because of us. It's because of the whole thing that companies want to send us stuff and let us play with it so we can show you what's up. And this is just the neatest thing going. So oh, that yeah. that's that's how it works, y'all. Um, let's see. Boozer, I'm just running the muck talking. You got anything to pop in on us here? You want to say something? He's not even there. <laughs> he doesn't give a rip. He's not even here. Back. Put you on, Johnny on the spot. What I miss is Weston. <laughs> Sorry, I've been. I was thanking you guys profusely. Oh, um, thanks. Thanking uh, the community, thank thanking the boozers for production. Um, you guys keeping history alive. 
check out the Mary Boozer Teespring store. Lori, again, working super hard with Papa to bring these cool um, vintage visuals and squadron patches to fruition where you can have your own piece. Not everybody can put them on a jacket, but certainly you can support these guys a, with a T-shirt. And um, don't a forget to per come se. over to or a sticker per se. Yeah, from from Cali don't Cali forget graphics. to Cali Graphics. Cali Graphics. See, he's got relationships going too. You know, we're working hard over here. Um, and then he, it was kind of cool the other day when um, – RC Sailors popped in. Right. Wasn't that neat? Yeah, that's sweet. We're gonna, there's some more things in the works with them as well. So uh, let's see. What did I miss? Where the hell you been, Boozer? Says Dennis Farley. He was going What's, to the bathroom. Yeah. Boozers have to come to Jet Jam this year. Boozers too. do need to come to Jet he Jam. To. And we're aiming on the second weekend of July. It's not solid yet, but the second weekend in July, because the first weekend is Independence Day. George Watts, thank you so much. Um, Second weekend in July for the Pilot Ryan Electric Fly-In, right, featuring Bobby K. We're going to have a bunch of rappers See, there. I don't know. I might have to come to that instead of Jet Jam. Lil Kim. <laughs> Lil Kim. Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah? Lady Gaga. <laughs> Kevin Farros. We're going to have all <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have all the famous people. He, have oh, you been man. writing on your you, Kevin Farrow song any lately? You got us any new I, lines? Man, I'm too, I'm too busy. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Crazy Aces, oh, you're very welcome. No, and, you know, I still say I'd love to see you at Joan All, which we're going to be at that for sure. And uh, if you've never been, it's, it's an event that everybody should see at least once. I mean, it's amazing. Something like, what was it last year? 15, 1,600 registered pilots? I mean, it's insane. Anytime yeah, you look yeah. in the air, there's at least 20 airplanes yeah, it's, flying it's, around. It's, it's, wild. it's nuts. The vocal stylings. Yeah, we, you know what? We're going to work that out. I mean, that it's, it's on the you know itinerary. We've got the ones that are close to here that we're going to do for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, but... Uh, and we're looking at maybe a possible boozer flying at some point. We want too. a little tiny bit more sponsorship to get us there. Because um, what we get here keeps this going kind of locally. Mm -hmm. um, so Crazy Aces asks if it's in Muncie. Now, Nephi is not happening this year. It's usually in June, the weekend after Father's Day. Father's Day weekend is Jet Jam, uh, like the 22nd time frame of June. Uh, and then Nephi was the week after that. Sometimes it's a week before that, but there's a lot going on in the summer AMA and word on the street is Nephi's not happening. Um, it's Nephi's low key, but it's fantastic. Oh, man, so I met the Timber brothers there. The Timber brothers became the Timber brothers there. Um, you know what? Come to these shows, fly with us and you too can have your own nickname and make yourself famous on social. And you make good friends too. I mean, I've gone to the Timber Brothers and flown now over in Ohio, and they're they're really good guys, good family, great fun. Oh yeah, I love those guys, and and we actually they're supposed to come here and play with us, but yeah, yeah. but things keep happening for Joe, and he can't make it. Somebody was asking about the manual, so I figured I'd show it. No, that's cool. Should get show it to them if they can see it. They got to get a magnifying glass. Yeah, sorry, you can't read it, guys. But somebody was asking about it. I figured I'd show it. I think there's another there's page in there. Page that shows all the specifics of the and bobby's done a build that's, which that's is Chinese there. yeah read that builds one. are the toughest videos that you would ever want to make and bobby's working on one to give you the goods <laughs> the value on um v2 it says english on the other side english on the other side ryan are you going to be in southern <laughs> california for the ama in two weeks i wish but but probably not i think this is bobby and i have Full-time jobs here. It's tough. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. For now. You didn't see that, right? <laughs> we keep on uh, getting two dollars Canadian at a time from Farmer Man, and him and I both are going to retire soon. <laughs> so let me see. Just, Somebody's hitting me on Insta. I, I was testing the durability right there. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> oh, we saw it all right. Look, but look, not a scratch on it. Huh? Little stinker. 
Little stinker pants. Uh, not a scratch on it. Showing you that that good hard fine dynamo home there. I tell you what, Ryan. Hey. If, if Papa wasn't gonna go on a, a camping trip for a week, I would probably put this plane together myself just to experience. I'd never put a dynamo plane together, but it's. Uh, I'd, I'd, you know, get another one. No, yeah, I can do that too. But I really. You're I really... You're made of money. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Retired people don't even have uh, to go to work anymore. But really, I'd kind of like to do this one just to have the experience. It's, a, it's a little more to it. You know, well, if you're a modeling you know, guy, it's cool. Sometimes, guys, it's kind of fun to put something together instead of, you know, just putting four screws in and go. I mean, you know, it's kind of fun to me to have a little bit of it experience. Is. Um, well, yeah, you know what? Sometimes you got a little bit of work to do on yeah, these. Yeah, a little bit of time. Don't, to, to the, actually, the paint job time. on this one, though, I'm still... The paint job is really good on this airplane. Oops. Custom weathering already, Wes. That's right. Says, uh, says our buddy Shadow Ops. Getting it done right. And there's, Ryan O says he might go to Eli Field for their annual event. That would be awesome in Illinois. Heck yeah. The little white speckles, guys, that's just crap on it. It's not actually the paint. It's just dirty. I just need to clean it off. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait. Um, you know, it won't be I enjoyed hard. it. Are you going to pop a dot it with, like, a silver pen this time? No, it'll probably just be with a black pen, and it'll be pushed in. Because the white foam will actually show up when he does it. I, okay. I could. Uh, you he know, could do it with a silver idea, pan if he wanted uh, it to be yeah, silver. Yeah, I could yeah. probably try to do something that, that the, I don't know how it would look. Uh, I'll sponsor it, this, a silver pan. This would be kind of like painting <laughs> a navy <laughs> blue plane. I mean, it's going to show, the dots are going to show. It's just not going to show like they do on a gray plane like the one behind us. But yeah, I, I would... You know, the, the dots are just for just real close up. To, to yeah, you really don't see them, you know, unless you're... No, they look, they look awesome, but, dude. They uh, look cool. Yeah, we could try that. Oops. I'm trying to break it every time I set it down on something. If you, uh, I you mean, know, I, you I, try I, it on a piece, and if it's awful, forget yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and then do the... Try it on like a bomb. bomb or something. Try it on something easy like I'm a bomb. I'm a has got some of those... Or if, it's, if it don't turn out good, it's easy to flat black well, over it again. That's a suggestion just to see, because I've never done a real pl a black plane, so try, try something new. Yeah, we're going to do... Bobby wants to do custom on one of these. Oh, yeah. And, um... I already have to paint for it. I see Dude, it. I want to see. What I was going to say is if you the did, green. If you did this plane in some ways, all you got to do is get some foam safe flat black and, and you're yeah. probably good with it. I mean, that's one thing. I'm like, telling you. This flat, you guys flat, can't black. see this one, but you know, the black hides almost everything. This version one's been through it. And it, oh, man. Dude, you can't tell looking. It's been through a lot. I do. I'm really happy they painted these the same color as the airplane now. Isn't that nice? It is. Those little kinds of things. That means that they're listening, y'all. And uh, just nobody... to be honest, there was a little ding right here. That's the only ding on this entire airplane, though. That's, Absolutely. It's not like, oh my God, send it back. I bet if you even contacted them, send you a new wing over that. Uh, my gosh, yeah, that's and, and really, I... a turkey does that right it's not I, that big a deal i just love you're gonna mess it up worse than that getting it in the car yep yeah. first time i walk out the door i'm gonna put a yeah. dent in the tail i <laughs> always do it, knock it off. but i mean it's actually a pretty good finish i'm trying to get real close to it guys you know it's not like freaking paper smooth or nothing but i mean it's not a bad finish at all you can see it it's not like super bubbly or anything it's a good smooth finish on this airplane no, it's not. Hey, Colin Clohan, have you subscribed? You're talking about getting a blue wrench. Everybody's got a blue wrench paid 50 bucks. That's right. <laughs> for a blue up. wrench, and then you can drop all the links you want. I'm just. <laughs> and to I'm get on the get show, it. it's like 300 bucks. So you just you, you got a long way to go. <laughs> That's it. So, uh, hey, Colin, if you're subscribed here Sorry. and you and you like the Hangar Rack community and you like PilotRyanMedia.com, and the web, uh, YouTube, and all that stuff, then we're going to give you a wrench. Yeah. Uh, Lewis 
Lopez wants to know how you think that black foam will hold up in the Florida sun. See, that is what, one thing I'm worried about, too. I think this is going to be one you want to keep in the shade until yeah. it's time to fly. And, and Run I, out there, fly it, and then bring it back in the shade. And it's just not because it's not Plus a tax. plane. That's any, That's any plane airplane in black. In black. You I just got to be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. I could see mm -hmm. it, it killing this thing if you put it yeah. out on a real hot day. Yeah, you better find just, some shade. That's you how black and foam is. A towel or something to throw over it. Yeah, you know, it, it could easily be remedied by taking it out and throwing a towel over it when you're not flying it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because I know guys want to know, and I know um, Jeremy Soul had one of these. He did custom on it, and it looked really sweet, and he glossed it up like crazy. Um. I'm not a glossy you, guy. I want a dull. Airplane. I'm not either, but would that would that make would it still gator? I think it I think would. It would. I, think it would. I, I don't think polyurethaning them does anything for that. It makes them shiny, but just no. don't leave it in the sun for more than ten minutes. Flip it upside down. So if you're going to screw, yeah, it up, flip it upside up down. And screw up the bottom. That, you guys ought to see me at at shows. I my you I hardly let anybody see the planes because I'm afraid to let them sit in the sun. And this is everybody's planes, no matter what color it is. Mm -hmm. They will gator. Oh yeah, and if especially you leave them under in the, the glass. Yeah. Under the oh, glass. Man, that's the worst. I Come actually on. think I'm gonna paint under my glass. I, I don't actually know if I'm gonna do a cockpit or yet. I haven't decided if I'm gonna have a clear cockpit or if I'm gonna do like a shiny blue on the inside. Because it's already painted, so if you did a shiny blue on the inside, the, all the glass would show up as like a shiny blue color. Okay. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a cockpit yet or if I'm just going to paint the windows. That's what I'm saying. If I, I do, a lot of times I always paint the cockpit black. The glass. Black. Do you? Inside. Yeah. Black, or if you paint it blue or whatever, you don't have to worry about gatoring. For one thing. Were they black? Were they tinted windows? <laughs> right. Uh, you, were they? I don't know. I don't think they were. I think they were clear, but I, I just was thinking that I might even paint them just like I said, a blue or whatever, and uh, not even worry about it. And then if it gets hot and bubbles under the canopy, yep. who cares? Um, right. Or I might try and build out a full cockpit in it. I don't know yet, because I'm known for doing you that know, too. Uh, but I'll paint it green that... if I do that, because it'll be olive drab on the inside. Well, yes. Um... Olive drab or that chromate? Or zinc chromate, yeah. Um, one thing I've done on canopies that I cared about what happened to them. Drill holes in them. Is, uh, I, know, I know Steve will cut plastic ABS and, and build out these cockpits. Yep. yep. Um, sometimes I've done um, painter's tape and then painted them. And that kind of holds that integrity. They'll still gator underneath it, but you just don't see, see it. it. Cuz yeah, you got that painter's tape on there and which holds paint really well. Um when you paint it, it's meant to mask. Right. <laughs> but that blue stuff has got a lot of tooth to it. The green stuff not so much, but that crappy blue um painter's tape really will hold a lot of paint. And so I will tape tapes easier to cut. Uh, than ABS and some of that other yeah. stuff, or even cardstock like business cards and things. I've used that stuff on canopies that I was really worried about how it was going to take it, and um, it works tremendously well. You know, you know what really would be the right idea with this one? Just fly it at night only. It's a night fighter, and then you wouldn't have to worry about the sun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just fly the son of a gun. You know what Who I mean? Who cares? You know, the cool right. thing is, is with any of the dyno planes these are planes you can fly enjoy and not have to worry about dinking them up so much either because they come in at a lot cheaper price point let's be honest the price yeah, point is lower this is a good plane that are, guys that are getting their first couple warbirds this is a great area to start in if you don't mind a little bit of modeling there's usually going to be a little bit let's be honest again um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to have a little bit of gluing and stuff. It's not a four screw put together airplane. There's a little bit of gluing. There's nothing hard. The servos are still installed. The retracts are still installed. I'm not saying like you got to build it, but it's, you know, there's a little more assembly to it, but it's fun. You get to put the windows it's, on. Hey, I want to have a cockpit. It's fun and it's 4S. You know, 
Somebody, I, I want to make my own cockpit. Or the you cockpit want to change comes out, out the pilots in it. You put your own pilots already. in it, whatever. If you have some extra pilots. You know, you if like. you know us guys, I like to model all my stuff. So it's cool when I say, oh, it doesn't come with the cockpit put together. Cool, I can do whatever I want in it now and add little switches and buttons and that kind of stuff. I like that. But you don't want to rewire it. Yeah, but I don't want to have to sit there and put all the servos and all that crap in it. I want so, that to come that If they fix way. those kind of things, I have no problem. I mean, that, and, and I guess that's some of the things that possibly everybody else is thinking. Everybody's seen it in the past, but and it sounds like those are the things that Dynam's looking at fixing right yeah, now. With I their mean, you guys have already addressed that. That's what you're doing with them. I think it's great. I think it's nothing but a win-win for both you and Dynam to be... Uh, uh, in that uh, situation, I think it's going to be nothing but better with you guys. With you guys teaming up with them, yeah, I, I, really I see believe, nothing but uh, better Give them stuff a little coming. bit of time, guys, and I think these uh, these uh, planes are going to be better what and you better. Expect. Yes, I really do. We we certainly we certainly are are going that direction we of course we want them to be better oh yeah, yeah. but we and and we're going to work with them and try to achieve that but while that's happening you know that you're going to get the real story from us on what we discover and what happens yeah. as we're um working these things up uh -huh. yeah. and and you guys need to do the same thing yes. if and when you get any of this stuff um Tell don't, be a, don't be you know, don't be a, a jerk about it, but contact them. Let them know what's going on. These companies rely on that kind of data to make changes. So you know, do do that thing. Right. Right. Uh, let's see. Somebody was asking something. And Wesley what and myself are going to be that the same way on this one. Absolutely, oh, yeah. and you should be. And you should be, and that's why people like us. That's why people like you, because you you get to see these things work, uh, and you get to have a good idea about what to expect. I was going to ask the question: Did they always have this reinforcement? The wood? No, wood I think he was the, saying they added that. Did they the add this? Because a lot of these places it's got this big long nose, like the what was it, P thirty eight? P thirty eight or any of them? They get weak up here. Two sixty two, ME two sixty two. So did they add that strengthening wood up in the? The, it actually always had it. Version one has all that plywood too. And the minute he opened the canopy, uh, I was actually really impressed with that. And that reminds me yes. of something I, I forgot what I wanted to ask. Um, I just so Cal, yes, it is. Go ahead. Um, I think it's cool that, so you put the receiver right up there under that top turret magnet. Yeah. Yep. So if you want to do a gyro, you want to be able to service it, play with the gains, that kind of stuff, you can do it right there on a nice flat spot. Um, we actually put, we flew ours tonight on one of the Detrim radios. What's it called? Blitz? Yeah, the Blitz 9. With one of the stabilized receivers in it. Um, they're very affordable, but we didn't have the stabilization on. We just had it off and flew it, you know, cowboy style because the thing doesn't need it. Oh, it's so smooth, yeah. But so, it's really easy to mount that receiver and have so, easy access so, you know, to it. What I was trying to get at, I do see some really quality in this plane. I yeah. mean, I kind of, I've never had a diamond plane, but I see some really positive things with it. I, uh, I love the plywood. Yeah, yeah I really too. was I impressed. I mean, just thinking of, uh, you know, you're knowing that it's going to... Yeah. You get a lot more structure. I have a question for Bobby real quick. And we said we were going to tell you guys things. Uh, Bobby, on the top hatch, Lori, can you give me top view for just a second so you can see what I'm talking about? Did you cut this out before putting your gyro and stuff up here? Yes, I did. Okay, that's a question I think. And I think that anybody that gets this plane just expect to cut this little bit out, to be yeah, real yeah. honest. Yeah, you can cut that out, or also that wing is so thick and chunky. Or cut with the one this. that I had today, I actually um, cut out inside the center of the wing and just recessed the receiver down okay. into the wing. Because I was going to say, if you don't do one or the other with the wire sticking through, <laughs> this won't fit on. Yeah. Found that out a minute ago. So one way or the other, you'll either have to cut a bigger hole to put your stuff in, or you'll have to modify the top to get this to go on. Yep. Already noticing that, um, so it's not a big deal. Just asking which way you went with it. 
Because this looks oh, yeah. huge, the wing right here. You're going to have a spar through the whole wing. So yeah. yep. you're not hurting the wing by putting a little hole there. No, you're not. But Dave's our I think what I'm going to do is carve that out and then mount my receiver right there in between those two things. Because that's, that's convenient to just be like, oh, I need to bind it. Woo! Pop the top off, bind it. Man, yep. it's right on CG too, really. You know right. what I mean? Oh, yeah. It just makes sense to mount it all in there. And then it's not up here in the battery bay having to fart with it. Oh, yeah. Nice that and clean. Thing. Yeah, with, with the is. V1, that was a pain in the butt. All the spaghetti came right up through the center of the fusion into the battery bay. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I took it all out, separated the wing, and did it how you see it now. Yeah, no, now that's cool. I like that idea of putting the receiver right here and then having the cover. Yeah. And then, like I said, it keeps your battery bay. Oh, we're not on the top. Lori top real quick. I mean, if you look in the battery bay, guys, I mean, it's nice and clean in there. There's a little plastic yeah, tray. There's, there's, there's a, a plastic tray. Side, the, the Very down in there. You see the... Hell Hydra with my black ring. <laughs> Hell Hydra with my... Uh, looks like a Hydra airplane here, huh? Anybody that's yeah. a Hydra guy? <laughs> this, could, this could definitely be a Hydra plane. Ooh, I can see it. Put me a Hydra sticker on the wing. With all my red lines. <laughs> That's how I'm going to customize mine. There you go. This is going to be the uh, Red Skull airplane. World War II style. Nice. Yeah, nice. This airplane is not a just a real thin, light plane. It's, it's it is a chunkier airplane, yeah. It's a bomber. Well, it's a fighter, but it looks like a bomber. You know, it's got to weigh a certain amount to cut through the wind. I mean, if it was too light, it'd be all over the place. But I really think maybe that... Does it fly... I mean, He said it flies really light. Really? Yeah. Well, It's going to float. It feels a little heavy, but... I watched the videos. It looks like it comes in in a crawl. You're going to you're gonna die. Oh, man. just You're going to die, and the rudders are just right. You know, we're flat turning and everything, you know, nice and slow. I had flaps in. I did flaps not in. Like, it's it's a doll. And so if you're a 6S guy um flying heavier more expensive things it's really nice to take a breath and get and play with one of these um it's got lights you know what i mean it, which is nice you can customize it to death and 4s guys who aren't going six you know here's a twin that's pretty affordable not to say the of course the flight line p38 is awesome uh and so is the tiger cat so is the 6s fms tiger cat actually yeah. really fantastic yeah. And we'll talk about that some other time. By the way, whatever extra it costs, there's a great reason for that. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. It flies wonderful, right. doesn't it? We're having one on the channel but, in a few but weeks. But I have the B25. You got the FMS, FMS B25. FMS B25. And, it's know, a I chunk. Don't... That one doesn't land as slow as this is going to land a lot slower. But for one other, thing, this has flaps. But, you know, the other thing that that... Yep. B25, it, I, I want to kill him with that nose gear. Yeah. That nose gear is... FMS kind of messed up on that I'm one. I'm sorry. That thing is old oh, tech. Oh, man. Man. That's one of the first foamy twin-engine warbirds I actually can think back to. But, and they haven't revamped it yet. Man. That's why I've refused to own it. Yep. It flies so good is it the bad part good, about it. But boy, you hit that nose gear. I have on. one and he has one. I've revamped the nose gear just... Did it on my own, just said the heck with it. I ordered it once. It needs flaps. It, it, needs, it flaps. needs flaps. I tell you what, I'm just waiting on but, somebody but to do a B25. Saying, Me too, a big B25. I can see that. 1600, 2000 millimeters, somewhere in there. There is one on the market, but it's from a com company I still refuse to, to do business with. That thing's a monster. Uh, it, who, who makes that one? Uh, Blitz RC. Yeah, it's like a banana. It's a banana big hobby. B25. Yeah. RC Informer did some good work on one, and it was impressive, but I don't want the headache. After you change everything in it, yeah, it flies yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah I, um, but I, I appreciate all you guys wanting subs and stuff, but, man, I actually, uh, you really got to dig into YouTube a little bit and figure out what their stance is on that stuff. They do not. If you're, they won't. Let's talk about that like, for a second. Just because that you're that. seeing it, if, if you're... If you're serious about being a YouTuber, don't ask for it. You know, say, you know, check out my stuff, whatever, but don't ask for subscribers. YouTube doesn't like well, that, and they'll demonetize you in a heartbeat over it. 
Well, and they, they won't put this out in front of people if they think that's all it is. Because right. it kind of screws with the integrity of the way they, they deal with their advertisers and things like that. It's not me. It's not Wesley. I just study YouTube hard enough to know that it, it's, it's a bad, it's really not good for you. And it's not good for me to have a bunch of that kind of talk in um, the chat. Yeah. I'm sorry. Talk to each other. Do your whole thing. Hang out. But it, it gets, and I get it, guys are excited and it's cool and come over here and connect. But you got to figure out another way to say it, I guess, yeah. is what I'm getting at. And honestly, I'm going to have to probably eventually make it. Uh, there's a way to filter words mm -hmm. where it won't show stuff. Like if there's a bunch of people cussing, like I could put cuss words in a list that nobody would, it, it wouldn't, they wouldn't come out. You, you wouldn't see these comments. So check out each other and all that stuff, but kind of be careful. Um, talking to sub for sub stuff. Right, yeah, it's a, I mean, a no-no. It's crazy enough that they, it sounds crazy, but they totally just heard me say that. Yeah. Right? It's crazy. The algorithm mm -hmm. is cued to pick up on these kinds of things in either verbal speech or in comments. So be careful. Yep. And chill. They don't like Just it. go do it. Yep. All right. Get out there and make good quality content and they'll come. Yep. That would be That's the thing it. I tell you. And guys, we've had a world record on this stream 63 weeks in a row. Somebody told me we had like 140 people earlier, wow. and there's still 123. Wow. wow. Thank you, guys. That we appreciate it. I is, know Ryan appreciates it. We, we, we all appreciate you coming by it's here awesome. and sharing uh, our views on, on these products. And hopefully you're not here. I think you're... Well, like Ryan says, we're trying to put a good product here. And, we did, uh, and I hope we 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 but we must be doing it for somebody to come in and and not us. I think they're coming in to see Ryan, and we're just no oh, man. They come in for all of us now. Well, we're all I'm, getting I'm to be glad. done. It takes be, a village. Takes a village Look at, to do like, this. I won't take on the tag team stream, Wesley. You know it. I'm too busy. Right. I won't take on a tag team stream uh, on my own. So, so we keep he doing it. Us. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, hey, I mean, I'm going to let you talk to Bobby. Yeah. Okay. Mother Nature, I got to tell no, you. you're good. And I haven't got to talk to Bobby ever, so this will be cool. Line one. Yeah, yeah. 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 He drinks too much coffee. So, yeah. Bobby, you're you're not somebody that I've dealt with a lot yet, and, and welcome to our yeah. world, as we've all been doing. But uh, uh, right back. just out of curiosity, I mean, what have you been doing in the RC community before you joined up with Pilot Ryan? I'm sure that this wasn't your first step along the road. No, oh, no. So uh, that's actually a good question. So I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff for like BitGo Hobby. Uh -huh. And then uh, a lot of the some of the filming that you saw even previously with Ryan and Mike, uh, do, I helped them out a little bit. Um, we all fly at the same field. I've actually been doing this since I was about nine years old. I've flown. I, I used to build balsa models and then just gone up. I, I've pretty much done everything. I got into electrics, and they kind of took over everything, especially EDF jets. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much where I come from everything. But I just kind of stay behind the scenes on a lot of stuff. You know, me and him started probably around, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Ish. 31. We're the exact same age. I started flying at the same time you did then. Um, <laughs> That's about, awesome. Uh, I wasn't very successful until I was about 13. We, we started again in 89. Yeah. But uh, we did balsa. Did you, I had, did you ever know what a hot rod was? Oh, yeah. I had, yeah. I had two of those. Flew the wings <laughs> off of that thing. And finally, I was like, all right, I guess it's time for something else. But the old, Heck what yeah. was it? Tower Hobbies made that, wasn't it? No, no. Yeah, I think it no, it wasn't Tower. No, it was a it was a Vietnamese company. I, it I was can't like remember. A it, but yeah, I a hot who rod. It was, but yeah, the hot rod. It was and one of those. Wing. And he had it tuned out where that thing hit. I wasn't like going to spend a lot of money because Wesley was fear, fearless. I could build an airplane and that and he'd go, "Well, here it is, Dad. Fix it." I, I built, I, I'll never forget. We were going to have a fun fly, and Wesley was doing very well. So I went out there and built one of these profile airplanes because he wanted to. You remember the old, the, the, the had a built up wing, but it just had a wood profile. Oh yeah. And he stuck the forty on the front of it, 
And that, you know, I know exactly what I you're talking about. I forgot what they yeah. called it, but I built that airplane in one weekend. And he recovered it in I a mean, beautiful paint I mean, I recovered it in this, I, I mean, I even cut out the stars and bars out of Monaco. I mean, I didn't oh, buy geez. them. I actually cut them out. And I did it in a in a olive drab, a gray, a green with the, anyway, I, man, I worked my tail off on that thing. To, and, and I, uh. I don't remember. Maiden flight stalled it. It went. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I broke yeah, the wing yeah. off. I was like, yeah. "Sorry, Dad. Uh, here, Dad. Fix, fix it." it. <laughs> so anyway, but you know, it was part of the thing. And and Wesley was always wanting to try to, but he wasn't exactly the most. Uh, he was he was always wanting that. That was hyper. Hyper. Yeah. That was a good way to put <laughs> he, it. He took rattling. So what? You, what can I tell you? So. Uh, but, but how have the times changed I, now? He's asked me, I don't know how many times, Dad, back, back when we were doing that, would you ever thought we would be where we are today? Yeah. And I thought, no way. I thought I thought radio control model airplanes was kind of like scouting, that eventually it would kind of burn out and go away, but it didn't. Yep, I mean, yep. it really didn't. And, uh, and I, I really believe that every person should have something that there is a passion for them and, oh, and yeah. they live for it and and i think that i i mean i've had several things that i've had over the years but my number one passion has been radio control model airplanes uh, i was just always fa uh, just fascinated about how they flew and and uh i'm still today uh but the for us to be able to share what we're doing today is just just fantastic mm -hmm. and and uh i'm getting a little yep. like i'm getting the problem that i'm doing i'm getting older and start starting to lose the the uh dexterity and the eyesight and that kind of thing and i know i'm doing it because i was around a lot of older modelers that went through the same thing so i'm gonna hang on as long as i have but uh, what i can do is stuff in the background and, he uh, can still fly for now, but yeah. Oh yeah, I can with still time. Fly. <laughs> but, uh, but, but it's nice to be my age and still be able to have something to look forward to. You can always, after you quit flying, I mean, a lot of old team guys up with somebody and become a builder. Build, build, build airplanes. Oh and yeah, stuff like that. So you're kind of in the same mode. Yeah. But uh, uh, I, I understand where you came from. Thirty-one. What a delay! Wow. Heck yeah. So anyway, yeah. Well, 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 now, I've nice to meet that, you. Yeah. Bob. The delay's crazy. We're, we're we're really stoked that you're over there on Ryan's side, and uh, look forward to seeing you a lot more. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I love doing this every Saturday, and really, I just I enjoy planes all around. So it's it's uh, I, I love all of it, every aspect hey, of it. Flip yeah. that ear. Oh, well, or that. Yeah, okay. I uh, I have a pretty big <laughs> passion I, I mean, for airplanes. Do, you know. The delay well, is crazy. Really? I'm sorry. Really? If well, if you don't have the same headphones on, if you're trying to watch it on the phone, oh my god, yeah, it's oh, ten yeah, seconds behind. Yeah, I've done that before myself. The delay is so, crazy. So, Ryan, with Bobby being there, I'm going to show you what you need to buy. Right here. Glitter. What is it? A G-string? Yeah, you can't see it. It's a thong. <laughs> it's a thong. You see it now? No. There you go. Now, it's a splitter. It's a splitter, and then get you two sets of headphones. Be done. Yeah. Army Aviation. Full setup, 30 bucks. Here again. Amazon. 30 bucks. Off of Amazon, off the Pilot Ryan and Amazon store. Awesome. <laughs> the whole thing. I get it. That's two and a half cents I can apply to my retirement. There you go. Now, awesome it, sauce. It's been cool. I did. It has been cool. And I, 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 I just... I was trying to get at thanking you guys uh, earlier again for uh, I always call it producing the tag team because I, I, I we couldn't do we couldn't bring this to the community without you. I want to remind everybody who's in here still how many folks still I mean it's like crazy tonight. You got to come by the Mary Boozer YouTube channel drop a link in here for that. Um, tomorrow night he's going to unbox the E flight F 18 as long as I get it tomorrow. As long as you get it tomorrow. And Kevin got it from Hobby Zone through pilotryanmedia.com. Thank you very much yes, for did. that. 
And then if that doesn't happen for some reason, I got another one as a backup. <laughs> you got two? Well, this is a different airplane. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got but you. I got a backup in case the F-18 doesn't get here for some reason. I see what you mean. We have Bill some Shepard, bad weather though. around us right now, so hopefully that's all over by tomorrow. So Pilot Ryan Media, that's me, but it's Lori. Dropped a link to Mary Boozers. Check it out. Bookmark it. Smack it up. Flip it. <laughs> sub it now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yes, I just said it. Ryan wants to see Bobby in a G-string. No. He'd have to pay a hell of a lot more money. What did I miss? Uh-huh. Ryan wants to see Bobby in a G-string. Yeah, he does. Yep. <laughs> I was just I was talking. Just make sure you get it on film. Oh, my gosh. Whatever you were showing there that I couldn't see, I think the uh, your thing for the headphones. Somebody's stepping on my damn no, headphones Oh, I keep stepping on the There cord. you go. He was talking about our G-string. Yeah. For that, you got to go to pilotryanmedia.com, go to the Teespring store, and you can get your own That's right. G-string with my face on Pilot Ryan G-string. Only on the front, though. It wouldn't fit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my dude. goodness. Now, I, I'm digging the airplane. I can't wait to get it together. I probably could have put it together as long as we've been sitting here BSing, but that's okay. I'm going to take my time on this one. I think I'm going to pimp it out. If I were to be do sweet. it, I'd, I'd, I'd one of those uh, measure twice and put together one. No, glue it, glue it twice, and then yeah, uh, if you got to get it apart, just start prying. What, but I'd drive, people, <laughs> I'd drive people nuts if they watch me do it. Oh, yeah, I'd rather say just, if, it, if we're going to build it together, it's like, here you go, take it to your house. Yep. You, you got it. <laughs> I, I love a hacksaw blade for when you got to get a glue joint apart. <laughs> yeah, well... That just drives me crazy. Just break it off. You can always glue it back together. Yeah, man. Well, if you cut it, I mean, you got a curf there, but you need to put glue there anyway. No big deal. <laughs> right. It makes it stronger. That's right. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Fred ba- Fred Barron says, make it rain. I like your style. Oh. <laughs> um, hey, so look, at we're going on two hours. I think we've covered the P61. People who are new to the channel, uh, thanks for coming over. You know what to do uh, to stay posted when we upload new content. You know, smash that button, uh, enable notifications, follow us on social. We're all over the place. We've got some, a lot going on. You can go to pilotryanmedia.com, subscribe to the newsletter, um, and every week we'll kind of tell you what's going on. And um, yep. Bobby and I are helping on on BitGo socials. So they're the ones who do uh, bring us Dynam. I mean, they are for all intents and purposes Dynam in the U.S. So uh, we're going to be slowly building that back up into viable. There wasn't an Instagram before. Now there is. There's been a Facebook page, but it hadn't been active. Um, so check that out. When you guys see stuff coming from BitGo, that's me and Bobby. Um, yep. So give it a like if you, unless you just hate it. Uh, if you hate it, give us two thumbs downs because yep. what happens is it turns into a like. Can, <laughs> it, it goes away. I'm just kidding. Two thumbs down equals <laughs> right. Give it three thumbs ups. No, check that out. And then pretty soon, the BitGo YouTube channel is going to be coming back to life as well. Yep. So there's a yep. couple of videos on there now. But you're going to start seeing more content filtering out there. But in the meantime, just check us out on social. Say hi. Come over to the BitGo Instagram uh, and Facebook. Also, of course, the Pilot Ryan on Instagram. All this stuff, you can get to it all from one place. And I spent a good bit of money to be able to say that. So go. (laughs) If you like us, do it. PilotRyanMedia.com. Go. Sign up for the newsletter. We'll, we'll keep you posted what's going on. And you can get to all the things we're doing there. There it is. Look at that logo. Holy it smokes. It reminds me of something else. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it is. Oh, oh, hey, oh. I remember. Oh. I have no idea. I think that's so sweet. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think that is cool. I mean, <laughs> that's mar- that's genius, genius kind of marketing. Yeah, that's genius marketing. If I if I don't say so myself, so check that out, Lori. Scroll back up for a minute because I want to show this off. <laughs> now, Vance up. Farley, go to the bottom where the uh, socials pop up, where Instagram and YouTube go. Keep going. There's the merch store, and then there's all right Amazon link, and then the YouTube channel 
And so underneath the YouTube icon is the most recent upload from our channel, which was Monday night surprise edition E-Flight F-18 unbox and build with Bobby K. And then you see the Instagram icon and you see the last couple posts on the Pilot Ryan Instagram page. If you're not an Instagrammer, um, man, just check out the site every now and then. You know what I mean? You'll see the it automatically populates the new content from those socials. And then, Lori, please scroll back up to the top. Um, Bill Shepard, Lori, wants the our, my BitGo link again. Now, go to scroll up just a little tiny bit. I want to see under brands we work with. Okay. Now, it says... Now, this is the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, requires I say this, and so I'm saying it. Purchases made through these links earn Pilot Ryan Media Commissions. There you go. <laughs> Done. Check that box, okay? Thank you, Laura. You put together one heck of a stream. I think it's awesome. Um, we will get uh, – Lori, hopefully, we'll drop the link for you, Bill Shepard. And, and again – if you go to pilotryanmedia.com, all you got to do is click on the BitGo icon. It automatically attaches my link to it, okay, which is the way all this works on this website. And I just – I can't thank everybody enough. I've been wanting to do this website for a long time. Some of you guys know I've been thinking about it, talking about it for a long time. But it really became evident over the last few weeks because when I'm talking to you guys, I'm sending you to I feel like a 100 different places. And I just didn't want to do that anymore. One place for it all. And I'm just pumped. It cost me some money. It's a yearly deal. And I paid Vance uh, to help me do it because uh, time's worth something. And he did a great job. And he's still letting me bug him. to do. It's ongoing to do little tweaks here and there. He actually added that little affiliate disclaimer for me like yesterday or something. So that's what's up. Cool kids call it the gram. I know Bledsoe. <laughs> I call it Insta. Does that make me cool? That's what I do too. Insta. Bill Shepard, there's the link. Uh, Pilot Ryan Media just dropped it. That's Lori. She's one heck of a proxy. Oh, my goodness. So it's look at it. Huh? Oh, my goodness. She's the best. Lori, you should pop um, in for a second. Say hi to everybody. Come on. She's like, nope. Lori's got her own West speaker. Wesley. Lori does such a good job that I've figured out how to not let you keep her to yourself. <laughs> I've got her making logos and helping us on the stream. I just can't get over it. And so that's why you get planes. That's right. Uh, I need you. I that's keep right. asking. I need you. Lori, have you done some of my art? No, I've worked no, on, I'm working on Pilot stuff. Ryan stuff. <laughs> uh, she hadn't said, well, how much are you paying? Yeah. She hasn't asked me that question yet. But anyway, now, you got the Flexing. muscle, man. Don't be vexing because I'm flexing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what, we won't try to keep everybody. Fun time. Always love it. We're approaching two hours. Really want the P61 to shine for tonight. But I know a lot of you guys really follow and know uh, and what we've been building and what's coming around uh, the corner. So let's talk about today a little bit, and then we'll wrap it. Sound good, y'all? Sure. Still 107 folks. Yeah, Holy right. smokes. I hate leaving when there's this many folks in here, y'all, but I don't want to keep the boozers. They got a show to do tomorrow. No, that's good. Right. So we flew. It was windy, Lord. windy, windy. And I got the dead kitten on my camera. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> and it's still, you could hear the wind noise. 90 degree cross. I was waiting on Bobby to show up. As soon as I got the wings on the tiger cat, I did a maiden, or not a maiden, but I flew it because I had fixed the gear doors on the front and I wanted to see if they still worked. Um, and they did. And the Tiger Cat, it doesn't matter if it's the flight line one or the FMS one, that thing flies like a high wing trainer. It's all hanging under the wing. I've said it before big monster vertical. And you've got all day long to make your correction so you don't land with a side load. Oh, dude, so, so the awesome. worst, you know, we got blown out and rained out the last few weekends and it was like it didn't matter today was nice but it was stupid windy we couldn't wait anymore so we we wrung out the tiger cat today and nasty winds we wrung out the new fms beaver with the windows and the red trim scheme we flew the f-18 a bunch of times from e-flight 
We flew the P-61, and we flew the Little Arrows 980 P-47. And that's what I'm wanting to talk about right now, a little bit. I love P-47s and have really not met a bad one. However, <laughs> that little thing, yeah, that little son of a gun, the servos throw really big. You got to tone it way down way down on the throws. I think I was at 80 and 60 and it's still crazy. I still have whiplash. I still have whiplash. <laughs> it, it seems to not find its groove like other P-47s do. So what I'm getting at is it's a heck of a plane. It looks really good. If you're not an experienced flyer though, I think there might be better choices for someone. Uh, for P-47s, you can't go wrong with the E-Flight 1200 millimeter P-47 run on 3 or 4S. It's big enough. It's got AS-3X. Even without AS-3X, it's dialed in. It flies just right. The 3S wanted arrows, and I love those guys, but I got to be truthful. That was originally a 4S bird pocket rocket. And a lot of guys, it was squirrely for those guys back then. They've made it to go for three cell now. And so I think it's got a little bit lighter motor in the front, but it's still a rock solid bird. And it, boy, you get out of the, I've never had a P-47 hunt all over in the pitch when you're coming out of throttle or putting pour and throttle on like this one has. Yeah. So I think it would be dynamite for a guy with experience. And I think it wants a gyro just being real but we flew it today and it's probably not usable just because it was so nasty windy yeah and it was all over so much that i cuss so much i probably can't use any of it <laughs> super sturdy airframe though. super sturdy we know this because i you know it ended up on its back a few times you know what i mean <laughs> um so and then, and then the F-18 and, and the P-61, and we did some photos on yeah. some of the other Dynam stuff, but we really ran out of time. You guys flew some jets. Adam come by, yeah, flew yeah. F-18, F-35, F-22. What else did yeah. he bring? That's probably it. Yeah, that was it today. Yeah. He built the F-18 at the field. And maidened it. And maidened it. Yeah. It, it, it went from crosswind crazy to, like, whatever way you want to land. Yeah, as soon as he showed up. <laughs> He's gonna show up more often. That's what I was telling him after you left. Like, <laughs> Fred Barron has the Admiral Gyro receiver in mind. I brought one because I was gonna put it in that little 980, and I pulled it out of my pocket, and it was it was just the gyro, or I'm sorry, it was just the receiver. It didn't have the gyro. I was like, ah, oh. mm -hmm. man. After you, after I saw you fighting that thing, I was. I didn't want any part of it. <laughs> and it was it was just so windy. I Yeah, man. I think it's it's a it's really got potential, but I know how I love P forty seven and I know how they should fly. And that son of a gun made me work. Yeah. Yeah. It made me work. Uh Rickham Royce has the Dynam P forty seven. That thing flies good. Oh dude, that thing flies awesome. I'm gonna nice. pick on it though. I'm gonna pick on the Dynam one a little bit. And I think it'll be changed soon. Mm-hmm. My biggest problem on the Dynam P-47 is that they, the old ones had a three-blade prop. Yep. And they put the, the shaft right through the middle of the yolk. Well, the P-47 in real life is a radial engine. So the, the shaft ought to be coming out the middle of the circle, not the middle of the whole yolk. Yeah. The, the bottom of that is a scoop. It's mm -hmm. air coming in underneath a radial. So where they have the shaft, on the P-47 from Dynam was in the wrong place. Not a deal breaker, you know, no. but it for a guy who's, I'm not counting rivets, but I mean, come on, the shaft ought to be where it should be. <laughs> uh, I mean, the circle's on the top, put the shaft through the middle. It's a scoop on the bottom. It's just there for vittles. It's just empty. So, but it flies good. Oh man, it flies awesome. Yeah. We did a video. That's the only one, that's the only P-47 you have, yeah. right? Isn't that what you said? I had a balsa one, <coughs> um, old global balsa P forty seven, and then yeah, the the only foam one that I have is the Dynam version, yeah, and it flies awesome. Flies really it good. does. It does. You guys like P forty sevens, don't you, Boozer? 
No, are you? Because I could hear everything. Oh, yeah, you can't. They couldn't hear us. All right, we're back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys like yes. 47s, don't you? G47 is one of my favorite flying warbirds. Not looking, but one of my favorite to fly. Um, if I ever build a big... Oops, just kicked that across the floor. If I ever build a big quarter-scale airplane, I'd like it to be a P-47. Heck yeah. Because yeah, they're just so good. Have you ever flown the FMS? Well, I know you have, but if you still got the FMS 6S1, the new one, Bobby needs to fly it. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Oh, dude, I want one of dude, those. Dude, you need guys. to fly yeah. one. It's awesome. For sure. It... it it's, I really like it. It's the right size, and, um, it's the right power system. Well, we, 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 were, her, right we were hoping that the next 1700... I'd like to see the FMS 1700 come back. Yeah. They had one, didn't they? Yeah, it, it wasn't the best flying one, though. I didn't like it as much as the, the 1500, man. The, man. They need to redo the big P-51, too. Yeah. Ball All of them need big. to be... If they updated the 1700 millimeter line, the big Corsair, the big P-51, all that, put the good retracts they're putting in that 1700 millimeter size plane, 6S yeah. power, even maybe even 8S power in them, where they'll run on two 4S 4000s or something. Well, I mean, well, that's probably what the 1700 millimeter FMS one needed was more in the front end. Right. It, it just you couldn't hardly get it heavy enough, and. And weirdly enough, I mean, I feel like I know P-47s. And weirdly enough, that son of a gun, you couldn't get it heavy enough in the nose, but then when you taxied, it was so light in the tail. I mean, the P-47 sits low. It's got a mid-hanging belly yep. and big wide landing gear. This thing ought to be a tank on the ground. So to have it act really light in the tail was kind of like, what? Wait a minute now. And so, I don't know. I never had fifteen hundred. It's the best. The fifteen hundred P forty seven is amazing. I it's baller. And Dennis Farley's right. The the twelve hundred millimeter E flight one FMS Junior. It's bomb. The best little, little not the best. I would say one. my favorite oh, airplane. And Dad and me have went back and forth on this. But if somebody is just finishing trainers and wants to go into Warbird, I would recommend that E flight P forty seven as their first Warbird. Personal. You would recommend the P-47? Yes. Yeah. I'm with it. The 1200 millimeter E-Flight P-47. I'd say first Warbird, easily. Go for it. You'll have a great time. Dude. He says T-28. Either choice, I don't think you're going to go wrong. The, yeah, the either choice is really good. T-28. Tail dragger. Right. right. I think the thing about new guys on trikes, though, they're, there's a little more fixing to do. And they um, like to stuff them in, not flare, new guys. You know, there's just a little... It just depends where you're headed. Mm -hmm. If you know you're going to end up in jets and you really don't care about tail dragger time, then the T-28's the way to go. Yeah. And the T-28, man, it's like so many of these planes are just like... They need to at least have been part of your repertoire sometime. So you've got to have a T-28. You've got to have a classic. T-27. It's kind of like a, a guy gotta have that a was learning how to fly a real planes in World War II. He had to go through a certain right. repertoire yeah. of planes to get to the P-51 or whatever. It's the same thing in these models. you got to do the same thing. I keep saying when repertoire. I was learning how to fly models, I... I treated it that way i actually did uh i had a pt-19 the e-flight one that you could have done control line I, I had a gws steerman which was garbage um it was early gws mm -hmm. and then t6 and then i got into you know more warbirds and stuff my first warbird ever my first rc model was a p-47 and i wasn't ready for it and it was the Quan lee garbage on nickel metal battery in a gearbox 27 megahertz had a guitar string for an aileron linkage that ran off of one servo in the middle never returned to neutral after you went one way i mean i i it was stacked against me from the get-go i had three of those before i made one work the third one worked because i ripped out all that garbage put in new servos, put a spar through the middle, put a, a lipo battery in it and a brushless motor. And that son of a gun was a rocket ship. But um, by accident, I didn't mean to. But um, 
Yeah, man, P-47s, you guys. That's where it's at. I, I think, you know, I, I would make a comment that that, that, that uh, large Corsair, I didn't think I'd buy another Corsair, but uh, I've seen that Flightline 1700 Corsair Yeah, the, fly. the big Flightline oh, Corsair. You, well, the one you crossed the ailerons so on. The one you got the how to be a uh, doctor How to repair and... it. I don't remember. No, what are you talking no, about? No, I, don't, I don't remember. You don't remember that. But I, you know, yeah, I, I don't remember. That. My th my therapist said I've, I've okay, repressed yeah. that memory. But, but you, you made quite a few videos on that <laughs> and did pretty well on the videos, especially the Dr. Ryan video. It's that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, Dude, that was you so know, fun. I, I, I did. Elevator off and got us. I'm saying the same thing that that if that Corsair flies that well, can you imagine what if they did it right? That P-47 has to fly better than that Corsair, even. Right. That's my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'll be wrong, but uh, I just I just love that particular size of plane. It's it's like the old gas. It's a it's about a 91. It's a 60 size airplane. Yeah, 60 to 91 yeah. size gas airplane, and they're just you know it's got the weight. It's a big spit you know, it's, it's like you way. say, the bigger they are, the easier, the, uh, to me, the bigger they are, the easier they are to fly. And, and yeah. uh, just, uh, just, just a pussycat. I mean, just get away from the size and the cost, you know. And I, that's the way I was with that T-28, carbon Z-28. I mean, just as soon as I got away from the size again and got to fly the thing, it was like, Man, I want to fly this all the time because it's just it. It you have time, like I think you said this in one of your videos. You have time. The larger they are, they t have time to see what they want. Yeah, you can feel them. Absolutely, I mean, they fly just phenomenal. And yeah, they they tell you. I mean, they send you a text they, message. Yeah, it's like hey, <laughs> yeah, so, you, know, you don't get that with one of these little rocket ships. That's uh, you know, a little tiny yeah. thing, but the, I mean, the, the, I just like a bigger bird and, uh, I did, I, the P 47s in there for them to bill for me. No. Big is nice. You know, the small ones, when they get far away, if they're quick, you better know, you better be on your game. Oh, yeah. That Tiger Cat, though, it was moving today, and we both flew it with the high C packs, and they, it was awesome. Dude, that was my first. But that son of a gun was a, it was out there. Oh, yeah. And you always knew where it was. Yeah. And it's because it's a 1700 millimeter size plane. Yeah. I mean, it's dark. So when you get far away, it's silhouetting out. But you always knew where it was. You got that big monster vertical that's like sending you smoke signals, you got the nacelles that are writing you a letter and you got plenty of time to read it. it it's just yep. fun that way. Big planes are neat. What I, what I want to see is the 4S guys get to do some big stuff too. And the best way for a 4S guy to get into big planes, I'm, I'm, I'm circling back Dang and touching base is these twins like the P 61, but my favorite 4S Warbird, I think has to be, the P40 B model from oh, FMS. Man, sweet. It's sweet, and it, I would love to see a bigger P40, six, eight, Dude, S, I want whatever. A carbon Z P40. Man, God. with those twist and turns, nice and reliable. Um, I love the way a P40 flies, Ooh. and it looks a little bit on the profile like a shrunk up 109 sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, man, it flies good. I feel like the P-40 is a hybrid of, like, all of our favorites. It's a Spitfire P40. mixed with a Mustang, mixed with a 109, <laughs> you know, and a little bit of a Zero. Yep. Look at that little guy. Is that the pocket rocket? It's it. This is the 980, the FMS. You better be on your... This one is not easy to fly. Like, it's, like, it's, fast. it's fast. It's fast, but it's squirrely. It, it is hard to take it off is, and it's hard to land, but it is dream in the air to fly. It flies great once you get it in the air, though. I got it. We did videos on it. You know, we, you know, we did FMS and Motion had a pretty good relationship at the time. And uh, so, man, I had talked with a guy years ago Ugh. who was working with FMS on development, and I knew um, this was a long time ago. 
that they were working on upgrading that P40. And I was like, man, a B, a B, it's got to be a B. Everybody's doing these big, long fuselage, yeah. big, chunky chin P40s. Yeah. Give us the, you know, the early yeah. models, the Flying, flying tigers, tigers, you know? Yeah. They're painting them up like Flying Tigers, but yeah. they were never the they ones they the were tigers. using. So it drove me nuts. And and um, so, but yeah, nothing really ever came, nothing ever happened. And then all of a sudden there was the 980 P40. And I think that was the first. Here's Here's why I think the 980s happened at all. Because people were so hungry for something new at the time, and people had always wanted a P40B, and so we got one, and it was too small. We all knew it, but everybody went for it because it looked good, and it was a B. Um, and so, pat yourself on the back, let's make a bunch of 980s that were way too heavy on the wing loading and <laughs> great for flying fast, but boy, they were squirrely. You know, I actually plane. fly mine on 3S. It's all it needs. It's all it needs. Uh -huh. But everything happens so fast on those little ones. Um, you know, people say big planes fly, little ones flit and flee. They're just they're just quick. <laughs> you know, the, the minute I got done with the regular workups, the uh, first thing I did was put a gyro in that little son of a gun. Yeah. Because, man, Mike, I mean, we were flying all kinds of stuff. FMS at the time had a bunch of 1400s. And, man, those things make you look pretty good. And then you got some little rocket ship that weighs a ton. Yeah. And, here, make this look good. Like, oh, my goodness. It's tough. <laughs> it make you look like a beginner. I think one of my favorite <laughs> small planes I've flown lately is that P-51 right there. The new motion one. I really like that airplane. For a toss those of awesome. To be they look to be just right it because it's a toss and boss it doesn't have a bunch of extra gobbledygook yeah. and it's in the wing loading is right if that little son of a gun had retracts and all this baloney though it'd be a nightmare yeah. i think that little havoc plane it's sweet you guys made it look you guys made it look fantastic dave kowiski is sponsoring an episode over here on the pilot ryan yeah. channel where uh, he bought us a Havoc, and it's actually due to be here Tuesday. So another plane you're going to see Bobby and I fly is that Havoc that Wesley was ripping the other day with James. Oh, man. That's a rocket. It's too fast. <laughs> it looks fast. It's but not it as fast as, like, a lot of guys want to know, and the V900 is <laughs> going to be faster, and so is the Hobby King thing, the uh, I know what you mean. Everybody They're, keeps asking me though, and both of them VFX are, racer there you go. or something. Both of them are faster. I have them. Both of them are way harder to hand toss than the new plane. I could tell just by looking. It's it's um, like half throttle, and I mean it just woof takes off straight up, no problem. I think that havoc. Uh, with a K, prop job right. from motion, looks like it's got a wider flight envelope. You know, if I want to fly him fast, I'll just get him closer to myself. Um, and I get a little more excitement. I mean... It's fast enough. It's probably pushing 120, if I had to guess. That's, that's plenty. That's baller, dude. Yeah. And the vertical's got to be unlimited. It is. It's unlimited. Okay. Uh, if you put full throttle and let go of it, the plane will fly straight up out of your hand. I'm not going to lie, the plane I'm most excited for is that darn airliner. I've been watching <laughs> I know a guy that's flown one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got to, Did the wheelie all the way down the runway? Ah, ah! Look at the lights! Ah! <laughs> Every time I see Dude, it. Dude, <laughs> I completely LOL'd when I saw that intro, that video the first time. And, and every time I see it, like... Total. That's what the hobby's all about, man. Is having a good time, seeing some stuff uh, in the hands of competent people who who know enough to share their experience and 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 all that. Uh, Bobby and I talk about it all the time. You can rip the snot out of a plane, but it's kind of hard to video it. Yeah. Right. Um, it may be boring to watch, but it's like, man, the first thing I do is slow passes. I I want y'all to see it. I want to see it. And then we'll peg it and, and rip it up and show you the limits and all right. that stuff. But, man, I have been flying for camera 
for a long time. But before any of that, I was flying the same way. When me and my dad were out learning in this soccer field in Muncie before we were brave enough to go to the AMA, same thing. I wanted to see it. Eye level. I'd slow it down. Mm-hmm. I want to see the son of a gun. And, I, and I, back then, there was no timer. You just flew till the lipo turned round and got <laughs> hot, and you, ran, and you had to dead stick it in. And I always try to stretch the glide in the turn and uh, snap it or spin it in on the base leg, just trying to get it back to myself. Then you finally learn. It's like, okay, timers, first of all, yep. or follow the nose, just fly the glide. Don't try to stretch it too much. You anyway, know. love this stuff. And, 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 and that airliner is going to be amazing. I can't wait. With the airliner, I felt like most guys were going to want to see it flying the way I was flying it. I, I'm sure I could have gone out there and done a roll and a loop and all that, but I feel like most guys that wanted to see it fly out there wanted to see it fly like an airliner. I'm all about the wheelies. The wheelies. The wheelies. I, I literally, the, if you look at that, I land, the front wheel never touches the ground, and then I take back off again. Oh, dude, I saw it because yeah. that's what I was watching for. That's even before this airliner was on anybody's radar. When I think about airliners and people have talked about them, it, I don't want an airliner for the stall turn. No. It's the landing, yeah. man, and the presence in the air. Wesley, you did a great job flying that plane for what it is. Um, somebody definitely will do a roll and stuff. It might be Bobby. Yeah, I'll do one <laughs> when I get one. Yeah, right? But you did a great job demoing that plane. You flew it the way it deserved. And it's a, a fantastic video. And and you can tell you respected the airframe and what it is. I mean, I laugh it off when I pull a barrel roll in a B-17 because I know guys want to see it. But as soon as I can just chill and go scale again, that's what I'm doing. It's like my B-24 uh, when I flew it at Joe Nall. I flew like two scale flights, and I was like, all right, guys, let's go out here and do knife edges with it. I'd come across the field with a knife edge with my B-24. But or what they really like... Four point roll you, of it across the field. What they really like is when you flew it about... A foot off the ground, right. all the way down the runway. Or I'd bring it in, and yeah, it'd be this far off the ground, the whole length of the runway. Everybody was loving that. That which plane? My B twenty four, the Mary oh, Boozer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I pimped it all out, but I'm not afraid to fly the hell out of it. People no, just, just laugh at me. Yeah. I'll come across hey. the field with a knife edge with it. <laughs> that's all. That's with my B twenty four. Yeah. I mean, every now and then you got, I mean, look, you got to have fun. No, it cracks them up. You know, but you got to fly the plane for what it can do, not how good you are. And there's a difference. It's crazy, but there is. Um, Pilot Robert in the house, ladies and gentlemen, blow up the chat with loads of emojis for our friend Pilot Robert. Hopefully he's getting he's better. Back, he's back on the sticks, y'all. We love you, man. Yeah. Hopefully, we love you. And hopefully he likes the new version a little better. Oh, yeah. Hey. Pilot Robert doesn't mess around. He held back none on the version one P sixty one, and and hey, they hurt. They listened. This version two has been tightened up, and and even Pilot Robert will say this. I I think I'm right in saying this. Once you get past all that and fly the son of a gun, it's pretty nice. It makes you forget about the rest yeah, of it. It's pretty sweet. Makes you forget about the rest. Yep. Uh, oh my goodness, y'all! Two hours. No, nobody makes a Lancaster. Nope. Well, Hobby King had one. Wild Bill. Did they? They did. Yeah, they had a Lancaster. Four engine. Yeah, man. Where you yeah, man I think so. I think so. I, I never seen it. Chronicles. I, I want the Hobby King B seventeen. To be honest. If I got any, if I could get any Hobby King plane, I'd want the Hobby King B seventeen. I think they have the best one on the market. Had the best foam it, one. You know, I flew the sixteen hundred, but didn't get to fly the other one. But everybody who's had the other, the big ones, has seemed to love it. Um, and I think it probably flies like you need it to. Big and lumbering. I think the sixteen hundred. I mean, like I was laughing off doing barrel rolls and loops and rolls and stuff. It's because it, it'd do it. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of spunky because 1600 for a four-engine plane isn't quite enough. That's not what you think it would be. Nah, it was... It hauls butt. It's too heavy for the smallness of it. 
Yeah, you for a bomber, you don't needs have enough lumber. Lane area. Yeah, it needs a lumber around, and it's old tech. That's free wing pre motion. Right. I remember the book on that 1600. They wanted you to split up the the, the motors where the left were all together and the right were all together. That's asking like, for that's, trouble. It's not good. Let's go inboard outboard. So if I lose a battery, I still got symmetry. Right. You know. I uh. It, it makes me laugh. Yeah, the the 24 from Motion is beautiful, but it really doesn't need 4S. It's it's way overkill. Uh, agreed. I've seen a lot of guys fly them on 3S now. A lot of guys do. <clears throat> and George Baker may have been one of the first ones uh, going 3S. He actually uh, adjusted the endpoints on his throttle to keep it from going. Um, the KV are just more than it needs to be. Oh my God! If you put it at full throttle, it'll go straight up unlimited vertical <laughs> at hundred miles KV. an hour. Yeah, dude. Lower KV scale, bigger props would would be okay. You know what happens when you throw a blade on that B twenty four is you rip your nacelle off. Oh jeez. Because it's it's spinning so bloody fast. You got no warning. It's a brats off. Yeah, it's gone. Don't ask me how I know. Prop strike on a touch and go. I didn't even wreck it, dude. Prop strike on a touch and go. Brah! There goes the nacelle. Oh, jeez. I've heard uh, they land in trees pretty good, too. They <laughs> land super awesome in trees. And I don't think that was an LVC deal. I think that was an early batch of something that wasn't quite ready and went weird on the flaps to elevator mix. But anyway. It happens. That was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving probably two years ago, three years ago, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, immediately after we got all our work done on that B-24 course, we have the only one, except maybe the magazine guy. I'm I'm following, I got a camera on the plane, actually, and I'm following Mike, who's flying the P-38, and, I, and I'm trying to recreate the Palesti oil field shot that James had worked into the announcement video, which was cool. And so I'm flying over the quarry that's to the north of us, and I think I hit LVC and stalled it right into the top of a tree. The day after Thanksgiving, Friday, uh, I chased down a guy with a bucket truck and had him lift me up. And I got that son of a gun out. And it was like, <laughs> it was, it, I mean, I, th it was in great shape. That thing is still flying. Somebody else has it <laughs> at this point. Yeah, man. Sweet. I got rid of it. I traded it for a scorpion. I had a Kevin B-24. I, I will never sell my B-24. I love it. It flies well, you good. guys have a good reason. We got a connection to it. I, I love my B-24. Whistler's wanting to hang it in here. I do want to hang it up in here. Oh, no. Well, man, I mean, your granddad was, was the, flew on the Mary Boozer B-24. I mean, you we're kind of the Mary Boozers. I want to hang it up in here, though. I get it. I kind of want to get a new one that's not as beat up. We have Jackson one of ours. A lot. Yeah. It's not Joe Nall was rough on it. Was it? Yeah. It... it yeah, the sun, right. it didn't like the sun very much. Oh, man, I know, right? It's not that That's big the enough. one thing. None of them like the sun. None of them like the sun, but the HSD stuff will surprise you. It That stuff doesn't seem to cook in the sun. It's, it's probably because it has an inch of paint on it. That Super Viper has got a thick layer of paint over the whole thing. And their foam's a little bit different. It or smells terrible or when you pull it out of the box. Does it's it? the weirdest thing, and I've heard a couple of guys that have heard my comments on it say, you're you're right, it stinks when you take it out of the box. doesn't smell like <laughs> any other airplane you've ever opened. You all open it and go, eh, eh, it stinks. <laughs> my first FMS P-47, I don't know what was up with it, but it just smelled like laundry detergent. <laughs> so bad, perfumey. That it screwed up the whole shop. I sold, I got ripped. Well, actually, no. It got crashed at Neffy. Me and um, OV10 were flying, and he, he, he cut me up uh, to, to kill the plane. That was awesome, actually. <laughs> uh, Jackson RC's Aviation is asking what's up on the show tomorrow for you, Boozer. You're going to unbox the F-18, yeah, right? Yeah, as long as I have it here tomorrow, it'll be F-18. If I don't, for some reason, have it, I'll do the MIG. But... Make 21. Should be uh, F-18 tomorrow, though. If everything goes good. That thing was fun. We flew it today. Be staying tuned on this channel. Uh, 
I don't know if anybody else has got F-18 videos up yet. Surely somebody does at this Somebody's point. Somebody's got it by now. I, I plan on flying mine Monday and hopefully getting the film out. But not with one of these on it, probably. No, I've got a better camera than that. Yeah, but you haven't flown yours yet. I have a better. I have a better uh, camera girl. <sighs> yeah, well, I got Bobby. <laughs> and I flew it, too. Yeah. Uh, and I filmed it, too. Power line oh, says Fred. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know it. Well, we got a video of it, and it's not a hack cam. Nope. Not talking trash, but nobody likes us off time though. What? The what? <laughs> Said nobody likes the soft time. <laughs> so you might as well keep it up. A hard time. Come on, I'm giving you a hard oh, time. I see. Nobody likes the soft I time. I see. That's Gosh. Me. Missing my jokes. George. It's too late for you right now. It's only 11.30. Mail your camera to me, Ryan. Nope, but I know where you can get one. There's this D-bag that has an Amazon store. <laughs> He's, he, he put his grandma on too. it. I mean, anything. <laughs> Since we're going to be on the phone all night. You know what's funny? When guys who follow me on social for RC yeah, airplanes are hitting me up in Messenger, but not on the show. Where are you at? Get in the show like seriously i'm getting hit up in messenger where are you at ask me a question in the chat come on man what, what i miss nothing really and then rc weaving's hitting me up too how many sound streams you got lined up for us tonight oh huh? i get it he's giving me he's giving me a hard time about the cameras like picking up all kinds of stuff oh yeah well, between two Yetis right now, they must be hearing anything and everything. Yeah, well, unlike my stream, where we have multiple sound sources in a mysterious kind of way, I think tonight is uh, um, better. The show is the show, Ryan. Exactly. Or, or not, okay, I think. I'm so dumb. You know, speaking of beating airplanes up, I think I'm blind. Take them out. <laughs> I've been hitting this with the chair the whole night, beating the wing up. Oops. It you you Wesley dotted I it. I Wesley dotted it. I, I joined along with Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Chambers says, uh, careful, don't let one slip. I paraphrased. Uh, we actually had a fun time walking the cornfield today that's been trimmed down, scalped to the dirt, looking for carnage. That's the smoothest I've seen. It's the smoothest I've ever seen it. And, and people have lost cameras and all kinds of stuff. Thank you, George Watts. I, I think it tonight was awesome. Uh, we're still two and a half hours, and Boozer's not ready to leave or go to bedtime. <laughs> ah, uh, you don't know the princess very well. Papa's there to tuck him in. Right. I'm over here yawning. <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, we'll we'll wrap it. I hate to go. No, yeah, no, you no, can no, stay no. all tight. Whatever. I'm not. They got nowhere to be. 109. Yeah, we still got 109 we got 100 people in there. In here. You guys, look at. I finished this coffee. I finished this coffee. You gonna read it? A double shot espresso. Okay. Oh man, you're get, you're you're. Oh. And Bobby brought me one of these. <laughs> well, y'all are stuck. You, you were stuck here for. You well. see. I've been drinking my coffee too. And I got some candy. That's why he's been drunk. My coffee? Time. Yeah, what is it? Schlitz? I <laughs> uh, can't turn it you on. You like that ice stuff, don't you? No. Natty. Natty ice. I don't like the ice part. Ooh. You're gross with that ice stuff. I, I don't drink that stuff. Just like. Uh, what about. I, I only drink Zima. What? And um, Zima. yeah, Zima and and wine coolers. That's me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. You look like I'm the kidding. kind of guy that would like a wine cooler. You know they'll take away your man card if you drink that Zima stuff. I don't even know what Zima is. Oh, where you guys been? It's the worst thing a man could ever be caught drinking. It's like the Sprite of beers. Is that like the White Claw that's going crazy right now? Probably. It's like a clear beer, Zima. I mean, it sounds yuppie. It does. It? it does not sound American. It's like American. I drink my daddy that. It's like going to one of those. those <laughs> I, I have not yet went to one of those yuppie beer things that I could. 
tolerate any of that beer. Oh, I can. I like anything that's like chocolate milk. I like it dark. Uh, what, but what do they call like it? Your, like your like women. Men. Cultured beer, or what, what do they call this? Uh, that beer, that, uh, what do they call Craft. it? Craft. No. My, like brews, like yeah. micro brews. Yeah, micro brews. I, I haven't found one of those I like yet. I, I call them heady beers because usually got to be a real smarty pants to drink that stuff. You got to talk about the notes of oak yeah. and, and like the hops and all this kind of stuff. It's like, man, if I walk into a place and I can't say what the name of your beer is <laughs> and, I, and I tell you, give me something like a Newcastle and you look at me like I just asked for Kool-Aid, <laughs> then you're a snob yeah. and I don't want to be here anyway. Exactly. So, emphasis on the sparkle with the Zima. Uh, Zima was a 90s thing. Coors Original. Coors Original's not bad. Oh, Yeller like... Bellies. Mmm. Yeller Bellies? That's what they call Jordan that, a Yeller Watts. Belly. That's what uh, Smoky the retracts on the P61. They're, they're all right. Yeah, they're good. They're better I'll now. I'll never forget when, when we were in Texas and you couldn't get Colorado Kool Aid anywhere but in the central United States and people were doing what they did over Smokey and the Bandits. You know, hauling the Coors Light yeah, out of there. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts. <laughs> when they, uh, that Colorado Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Yep. Colorado Kool-Aid, what is that? Coors, Coors Light? Light. Yeah. What is that? No, it's Coors, yeah, just okay. regular Coors. Or regular beer. Coors, yeah. The old regular oh, Coors, Coors, okay. Before they had the lights. Yellow on. bellies. Yep. The, the Coors that's in the kind of the golden can, that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. But that was before light beer. That's just old Coors. <coughs> hey, and now we've gone from the airplane show to the beer <laughs> show. <laughs> no, we don't like beer. <laughs> Welcome to the beer show. Just give me something. But we're back, back to... Uh, we're back to uh, airplane question. Victor <laughs> Shamulus. They are plastic still, are they? Um... What? Yeah, I mean, w when people ask if retracts are plastic, uh, metal what do you mean? The, the trunnions or the struts? Because a lot of times struts are metal wrapped in plastic yeah. just for dressing. Um, the trunnion, is it still plastic on V2? Probably. Yeah, probably. Probably. We'll know. We'll know soon. Um, I'll let Kevin Farrell fly mine and we can find out if they're plastic or not. <laughs> uh, Jeff Webb. Uh, it's got to keep the crash up. Us. The P61 is 4S, Jeff West. Can you fly it on 3S? I don't think I would. No. I've never tried it. I don't think I would. Yeah. I just don't think it's got the the KV for it. You know what I mean? Usually, yeah. like, like, when you look at a 3S jet, the KV are ridiculously high. So that the power can actually, Ugh. so there's enough revolution to work it out. 4S, 6S, the KVs get smaller, right? Yeah, this is a 650 KV motor. 650 KV, 4S. Um, Four. The other uh, Dynam planes, the 4S, like single engine jobbers, I think are a 650 or 600 KV motor, and they do mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah, but on 3S, great. it wouldn't be enough, probably. Yep. The last dyno plane I flew, I really enjoyed it, was the uh, biplane, the Waco. Yep. Yeah. Yellow. Single engine. It was, I think it's 4S, isn't it? Thank you, Lori. Did I miss something? Uh, somebody asked to see the merch. Oh. Well, Can you scroll down and show them the new ones, Lori? Sure. Let's see, they're on the way bottom. There's some vintage stuff there. Hanger rats. Uh, so these are some of the new ones right there, right? The, Can you click on it? Those like are cool. It bigger? Does that work? Like zoom in on it? Oh, yeah, and of course, you can pick different colors Ooh, of shirts. That reminds me of something. I don't know. Oh, oh, I like popping. the blue. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It's classic. I like the light Dude, blue. It, we look like a department store. I couldn't wear that know. long sleeve stuff though that you like so much. There's a pink one there for for uh, Victor. Victor, yeah, those shame you slick. List. Yeah, man. And then there's that style. There you go. T-shirt style. I like it. And then there's hoodies. See, I can't buy a hoodie. I'd never wear it here in Florida. 
It's all your fault. I know, little wiseacre. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what is the temperature up there? Out of curiosity, you cut out. What'd you say? What? How much is or what is the temperature up where you guys are now? Just out of curiosity. It's Indiana-ish. Uh, what is that? Is it in the fifties? Today we flew and it was a little bit chilly. It was probably fifties or something. Mm. Yes, it's uh, 54 right now. It's 54 right now. We had a pretty cold day yesterday, too. I think it was like 74. Yep. It was, uh, it was cool. We were freezing. I gotta put my long there are not on enough that. cuss words that I can say at one time to express the way I, I feel it. when the warm people I rub it I in. To stick of pants <laughs> He's about to tell you where to stick of that monkey pants. <laughs> Um, I just want to see you it guys. I, anybody else that has experience with this question, chime in and right. answer Scott Parnell. Ryan, is the JP fan a huge improvement over the stock fans? Worth the money? I think it's worth the money, but it's not going to make it like way faster, in my opinion. It's not a huge, 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 huge difference. It sounds way different. They do, and they're neat, but you've got some work to do. To get them in, I've never, I've never had one. What's crazy to me, and I love uh, my buddy at Jetworks uh, who sells the JP fans. And depending on which size you're going for, I think there's a difference. Um, but the best cheap upgrade is like the FMS 90 or or the FMS 80 or 70. The 70s and the 80s are in runners. Uh, the 90s in Outrunner. They didn't make an in-runner on the 90 because when they did, I asked the guy, the owner guy, I go, uh, when they made an in-runner 90, the improvement over the Outrunner wasn't enough to warrant going into production with it. And any of you guys who have flown any 90 millimeter FMS stuff know it's pretty awesome. Now, build quality on the JP fans and the stock fans on the the shroud are going to beat fms they're going to beat fms the fms is good partly because definitely it's engineering they've got some real heady cats working on those systems uh over there but the shroud is plastic so it's nice and light which is obviously a good thing but it also because of that it's easy to get them out around if you don't do it right and some of these plastic shrouds are some of the first engines that you'll hear the guys with a really good ear complaining about the balance of yeah. the fans on so jps are gonna be they're balanced man i mean they are smooth out of the box um they're nice but you're gonna work to get them yeah, in it's all metal. and still it's all metal and if you cram them in i'm sure you can make them out around too the free wing fans are extremely rugged but those shrouds are heavy yeah. but they're solid and they keep making those better, too. You know what I mean? I was real impressed with that new power system that's in that MiG-17. The MiG-17 was a total Man. another sleeper. That that I don't know who makes that 90, but it was dope. And uh, the flight time was super efficient. It was that FN, FN models. FNRC? Yep, FNRC. Because I, I pulled it out. I wonder it. who's really making that fan. I pulled it out to put the burner on it, and that's what I noticed on the <laughs> Hangar 51, I'm sure you have one, man. They're everywhere. Man, I can't believe it. How many folks now? Boozers are about to sleep. How much? 101. Wow, I can't believe we're still sold in there. AF uh, models. 300. This is going to be one heck of a... I'd like to see your watch time on this video. <laughs> three hours with 100 say, people in there. It'll say like three weeks. I know, it's going to be nuts. Something like that crazy. <laughs> we're probably pushing three hours now. Two and a half. Oh, man. Well, we're going to... It's for a 90 millimeter HSD Viper. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Is it the 90 or is it the 105 millimeter HSD Viper? Because if it's the it's one... It's probably the, the 90. Because if it's in the 105, I've got the JP fan in the one we've been flying, and we love it. It's kind of an awesome sound. It sounds insane. It almost sounds like a turbine. It, it's loud. Like when you're right behind it and you're firing up that JP fan, it's so much higher pitch. It almost hurts my ears a little bit when you're right behind it. 
<laughs> it's yeah. literally that loud. It's cool. It's cool though. I like it. It is the Iron Man fan. Iron it looks Man awesome. Fan. It looks good. I got to watch Rich Baker with a smoke system on his uh, Super Viper uh, at Jonah. That'll be coming out pretty soon. That was funny. It wasn't really a smoke system. Well, he decided I mean, to uh, but, but lose a battery I mean, and it went it, through his fan. And, and all of a sudden they speak smokes. <laughs> but I mean, it looks like he's planning it. That thing's coming across and a cloud of smoke comes out of that tailpipe. Look cool, though. Yeah, that's the really cool. That's on. That's on video. It's on video. Yeah, the real cool part oh, yeah. is when somebody they're, they're yelling. You'll get Anybody to see. got a fire yeah. extinguisher? Fire extinguisher! You'll get to see Rich Baker <laughs> run. <laughs> Your plate's on fire! <laughs> oh God! That'd be awful. Fire extinguisher! Fire extinguisher! Oh, it's coming! You'll he's, see it. It's coming in the future. The canopy, try to get the battery. Throwing the canopy <laughs> and the batteries out on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh, man. There's, there's it's funny, funny, but you got I gotta show it. It's too funny. You know, think about it. You know what you did with your your. You always said the crashes get more views. Well, he's gonna get a lot of views on that one. <laughs> and, you it, know, it wasn't his fault or anything. He had a pack lose a, a cell, cell and it just caught on fire. Just, and he lands it because he's got onboard power on that HSD Super Viper. You have a second battery that runs just the onboard. So even though his flight packs die, he just brings it in and lands it. But we're, we're yeah. walking out there kind of gently, and everybody's yelling at us, It's on fire, bro! <laughs> oh, shit! Fire extinguisher! That's fire. crazy. Everybody got a fire extinguisher. A cloud of smoke comes out of it. <laughs> this guy finally walks up with a fire extinguisher after he's... Yeah, we're already done ripping the whole thing out, and the guy walks up slow with a fire extinguisher. We're like, where were you? Here. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I I, rem I think I've only let the smoke out of a ESC one time in the air. Um, and it ended, you know, very dramatically. It was a GWS P40. I had just launched it as a hand launcher. A 39-inch EPO. This was... I mean, I thought it, it was cutting edge. You know what I mean? I was I was running brushless, and it was EPO. Like, nothing was EPO really yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I over-propped it. I had no idea what I was doing. I, I had a motor that really the biggest prop should have had was like an 8.6 uh, high, high KV. And I had a 10.6 on it, and it was a screamer <laughs> t a couple times. And then I let it, it what melted. Yeah. So I'm watching this thing, and it's like, man, I'm really getting into this. I feel like I'm even seeing smoke come off of it, you know, like yeah. a real one. Well, I was seeing smoke come off of it. And then it rolled over belly up and went full throttle into the ground. And that's the first time I saw a lipo blow up. And uh, it blew that plane up. It smelled like electric char in there. I mean, it was just oh. awful. And I fixed that stuff again. I fixed it. Did you? I fixed it. This is GWS, man. These things, you guys have ever been with me on the show when I've had a cramp in my leg and I got to like dance and stuff? That's kind of happening. Mm -hmm. But the GWS stuff would have a Time stick a in, the, in the front, you know, and then a plastic motor mount would go on it. And then you bolt your motor to the front of that or in the back of it, it depending on what was up with your cowling and stuff. Oh, jeez. Well, as long as you could get the stick to hold, you were good to go. No matter how bad the front end was, you could jam it full of foam and hot glue or whatever. As long as you could get a stick in there to put a motor mount on, oh, you shit. could fix them. <laughs> and I I got, I was able to. So, anyway, smoke. out of I, That'll be fun to watch that, Wesley. Uh -huh. Yep. That'll be fun. Guys, I'm going to kill it. Let's do this. We're going to end it. Last minute questions. We got five minutes and I'm going to cut it. We flew a lot of stuff today. Anybody okay. getting ready to take a maiden flight on an F-18? Got any questions? Hit me right now. Um, hit me on social if you need to as well. Uh, remember all the things on pilotryanmedia.com that we've got our hands in. Uh, follow BitGo Hobby on uh Instagram and Facebook. There's a YouTube channel for BitGo Hobby that's kind of dead right now, but it's going to be filling up 
And of course, if you're here, uh, I assume you're already following us on uh, RC Pilot Silence Facebook, the Pilot Ryan Instagram, and of course, right here on this YouTube channel. Um, Jeff West, absolutely. Um, Mary Boozer's tomorrow with the F-18. I know another channel did an F-18 unboxing this Monday. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Mary Boozer's a little bit better, though. Probably. <laughs> but more, peop- more people will see mine, but that's okay. Hey, you know. Since we're throw- my since microphone will still- work, though. <laughs> uh, hey, my microphone works so good it, it picks That's up right. the future and the past. Hey, you know, we have to give each other a hard time, but this isn't as fun. Oh, I, I, it's cool. I got I got thick skin, uh, or I wouldn't be no, here but, still. You know, really, they, these, uh, what you call tag teams, oh, are crap. really great. What? I he he cut out. Oh, I, oh. say that again. I said Papa. these tag teams are really great, and we we just. I, I I love to be on them, and I appreciate you doing what you're doing for us, and uh, hopefully we are uh, helping you in some way or another. But we we really hundred percent. We just I uh, we're just I find it funny what we've done in six months with the live shows. Right. How right, much different right. it is. I, I mean, mean, look at it right now. We've got two of them. Both all four of us are on the screen. Everybody can hear us. And Logos. We, and we can pretty. We well have different cameras. Whatever. React to the the questions on the screen it's kind of kind of neat i mean i really it's think awesome. we're taking this to another level this is what we wanted six months ago it's that's true and you know what it's one of those things we kind of it's just like the website it's one of those things that's in your head you know it's there you want to work towards it you want to get there and then you finally do um and then we can help each other you know yeah. what i mean yeah. um i'm just gonna make you keep helping me instead of learning how to do it um so you guys talked about me you didn't figure it out on this stuff but yeah thank you farmer man uh thank you for that it's okay i'm uh, cheap. you guys it just cost an airplane thanks. an episode of this yeah hey man put my, put hey you know what to do mm-hmm. these are sponsored because you're gonna throw right. my links in your stuff yeah. hey i'm gangsta I tell you what, I, I, I'm I, not going to put a cap in your. I'm not going to put a cap in your tail. I'm going to make you put my link in your description. That's my gangster. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to flying this P P sixty one. Cheat! You ain't flying my airplane. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I am too. If you get that, <laughs> I'm going to fly it. So I'm going to show if Pop can fly it. Anybody can fly it. That's right. So you don't give yourself enough credit, yeah, I think. Well. Papa. I can. I hope he's learned how to do it. He's only been doing it for thirty years. Yeah, well, <laughs> if he, not bad for your first. Yeah, time. if you haven't figured it out by now, it might be time to hang it up. <laughs> he keeps, he keeps asking me, uh, "You want to fly this the first? No, you go ahead. Everybody wants to see you fly it. Uh, I'll uh, turn around, Dad. Fly it now. Nah, go ahead. Yeah. You know what's <laughs> neat about this flying? It it. I've learned this. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you have a good time with it, it doesn't really matter where your skill level is either. If if you show, if you're able to, it is nice to be able to see what you're filming. I got to say, better than a speck in the air when I can see it is amazing. Um, so that's, you know, okay, get over that hump. But after that, anybody who can present it and have a good time, it's great to see all kinds of different levels of people fly the stuff. I'm going to ask one yeah, question. You wanted to ask one question. Well, do you think this this... This one flies as well as the Tiger Cat, the F, the uh, Flightline Tiger Cat. Completely different airplane. Completely different flying. Can I have to answer it? Yeah, completely different airplane. Both fly really good, but this P sixty one is so light on the loading. Okay, so um, so it's gonna fly better. Not even the same. Yeah, not even the same. Close. This is going to be really slow comparison. Come you, on, Farmer you, Man, with that. You remember, killing the chat. You remember the way with that, that Dynam Tim, all the way down, my twin gosh. Twin thing oh, you the, like. The, the, the Grand Cruiser. Grand Cruiser. Does I think this is going to fly like the Grand Cruiser. Holy moly, I love that. Th- well, we he kinda, flew the heck out of that. He flew the wings that off was, that Grand Cruiser. I mean, well, I, everybody loves the Grand the Grand Cruiser, dude. That, I mean, if it flies like that Grand <laughs> Cruiser, you guys need to go buy this thing because that thing was just he loves that crap. airplane. And then an old man just had to have my Grand Cruiser 
Yeah. We had changed the motors in the Grand Cruiser, and Dude. I had put big props on it, and the thing crawled. But it had Dude. it and had stupid vertical power. Props. Though. We we did the rotating counter rotating props. And the, and the thing had it's a, a Cessna. Yep. Yeah, it's no, a Cessna, but it's a Cessna 310. If this thing flies like that, you all need to go out and buy this thing. And, 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 that's, that's what it's going to be like, like that. Okay, well, that's... It is. Okay. It really is going to be a lot like that. Oh, really? That Grand Cruiser is amazing. I would love a big Grand Cru- 310 yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And that. We but, got offered one not too long ago to buy. Charles is, but we never it, bought it. It was all balls of built oh, It was huge. It was huge. I think it had a 12 foot wing on it. It was huge. Thing probably weighed 30, 30 40 pounds. pounds. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd rather have this than that. I mean, I'd rather have a nice flying foamy than that thing. That's it for Dennis, me. Dennis, 4,000. Yeah. Battery size. And it's a 14.8, yeah, right? 4,000. 14.8. Yeah, 4,000. 4S. Yep. He says he's fit 5,000s in it as well. Oh, yeah. I think today he flew a Dynam 4,000. Yeah, I did. But I always flew the B-26 on, obviously, the Admiral 4,000. That's what I had. Yeah. I still have a bunch of that stuff. And even with the 5,000 all the way forward, it likes nose weight. Yep. Yep. No, I'm excited You guys are going to love it. I, uh, I'll get it built over the next week or two, and then uh, we'll get it out flying. It's gonna be oh, awesome. Well, you can't fly it next week because I'm I'm not here. Papa won't be here. I I'll get back on Sunday. But we but will. No, Sunday we'll will probably be our day. Yeah, we'll probably... we got our new field too that we're going to, which we really enjoy. I know a lot of people have been watching our video said that they love. Oh it. my gosh, that field's amazing. Five hundred foot runway. Yeah. It reminds me of Jet Jam a little bit. Yeah. Um, and and also where we flew in Texas was uh really nice yeah. also it, it, it reminds me of that it, i tell you i wish we had um more because oh, we gotta cram it in i land as slow as i can with everything because i hate rolling off into the grass yeah. but a lot of times we still do well it's so yeah. funny i'm used to right. i'm used to landing on our little bitty runway that i've got yeah. now and i was used to hitting 50 foot i got 500 now I'm landing on yeah. a third of the runway and stopping it, and everybody's like, "Why don't you use the whole damn thing?" <laughs> You're supposed to land well, way down this, there. This is Dude, our, our fields are the same size. That field you're talking about and the one that we're at is the same size. We go to Jet Jam. They got like what is it, 800 feet or yeah, something? Yeah, We, I've learned how to do it now, but I used to try to land at the end like I'm used to. Yeah. It's I would land at the end so slow, it's still a mile away right. from me. You'd have to taxi the whole way there. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to make video. i got to treat it like that. All that runway's not yeah. there, and I still try to put it down in the same place. Um, yep. And I'll never use all the runway, but I, at least we put it down where you can see Right. It. If you watched my Viper video, I land out there. I landed, <laughs> you know, two-thirds of the way down the runway. But, the but I had the brakes, brakes, so I stopped, and I'm like, <laughs> it. You know, run off yeah, the runway. Anyway, I don't know. All right, I'm calling it. Markham Parks. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. Dude, I've had a ball. Yep. Yeah. As yeah. always. Great, great show, Brian. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks so much for producing Mary Boozer. Everybody, check out Boozers tomorrow, eight o'clock Eastern time. Uh, subscribe. Do all those good things because they upload every week. Uh, at least one or two I videos. I think we're doing three like a week right now. So. Are you to catch? Up? I'm gonna have. We're gonna have a lot this week if I can get yeah. them done. Um, there's a there's a lot. Uh, I think we're gonna probably show you guys. Um, we ran out of camera for the P61 today, so all I have is cell phone stuff. So you want to see some of that? Check out Instagram, maybe Facebook. But the first like legit upload will probably be the F18 stuff, and then when we get the version it's two the P61. Thing. It's the new hot thing, and then we didn't fly a version two P sixty one. So right. the 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 V one we flew today uh, is just going to be what's up in the two deep. It's just going to be kind of for socials. But see us on socials, pilotryanmedia.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Check it out. Go through the links. Support your boys. Um, we appreciate it. Check out Boozer merch. Check out my merch. Let's do it. 
I hate leaving, but we're on roll. In five, hang the rats Four. forever. Three you later, you're too good to be forgotten. See you next time. Stick in monkey pants. All right, Lori, you got this.